Podcast, week 9 of the winter 2020 season. I'm your host, David, and joining me today, we have Sren. Hello, everyone. And next, we have Ku. Oh, hello, people. All right. And uh, hopefully, we'll have Brian join us later in uh, for the Hero Academia either uh, episode today or the, for the movie. We'll be talking about the Hero Academia uh, movie, two, two Heroes or Heroes Rising. I forgot which. Heroes Rising. Heroes. Two heroes. Come on. Heroes Two Rising. heroes. Yes. I don't remember the name. Two Heroes Rising. I actually hope it's, I actually hope it's Heroes Rising. But it's Heroes Rising. I'll ch- okay. Heroes Rising. That. Okay. Yeah. Well, we saw that. We, we saw the English dub. So, but I think we. And me and Sren saw also in subs. Oh, you guys saw it. Okay. Well, I. Mm-hmm. So we went to the premiere on Wednesday and we didn't realize it was dub only. So. Yeah, but, we were fools. My fault. So, but actually, like, the dub was pretty good. So that's. Thank God. <laughs> it could have oh, been, a lot, been a lot worse. So, yeah, we'll save that yeah. at the end. Um, yep. The only really news we have this week is just, um, just about the movie. Uh, so, something like the opening week at, weekend, it didn't, I think it did like 5 million, which is really good for an anime, anime movie. It Because um, that's like almost as much as it did the opening weekend in Japan. So, huh. basically, like. These these anime movies they're becoming as successful outside of Japan as they are in Japan. It so, topped uh, it topped Wednesday too. Yeah, I mean there's nothing happening on Wednesday it's on on a box hey, office. Dude, anyway, it's so. a, it's a win, man. Okay. Hey, it just, hey, I mean the, the bigger thing was, was as a win. The bigger thing was, was number four for the weekend. So that's oh was it? I didn't see yeah, that. It was number four on the weekend. So that's right, that's cool, more cool. of a major thing. I think the only time it gets number one is when Dragon Ball is out, but. Other, <laughs> Besides that, like, um, so these anime movies are becoming more successful, even though, like, we saw the problem of uh, limited releases, like Violet Evergarden, where, like, we just, we just need, like, they just, they need to get, like, more theaters, even mm-hmm. if, even if, like, you don't get, like, the c- capacity, you just need more theaters, just so that you get, you get it out there. I think it's just more yeah. important just to have more, more theaters available, make it more accessible, because then that's how you grow, but... Because of the successes they had so far, we're gonna see more. I think like we'll probably see more studios doing anime movies instead of like maybe maybe do like a season and do an anime movie and then do another season, kind of like what Demon Demon Slayer is gonna do. Like, uh, well, I can, at least I can see them doing that uh, route more. At least they're actually releasing the movies here. Yeah, that's a win. Yeah, I don't know like when it started. I think it was like when um, DBZ like uh, Resurrection. F or when it or just ba- killed, or no, or, or killed ba- the, I think Battle of the Gods when like when Battle of the Gods, I think that started off like the the trend of like of bringing more anime movies. So, so we're definitely gonna see them more. So that's like yeah, that's, I'm excited. Yeah, that's the only news we have. So, um, and then yeah, we'll save uh, my Hero Academia session until the end. So we're gonna start right away with uh, Haikyuu to the top, and bring this over to Strain and Ku. All right. Well, cool. Do you, would you want to kind of give your thoughts on these last few episodes? Kind of like what's going on? The last few, huh? <clears throat> so, yeah, last couple. It's okay. been slow. So, <laughs> well, this this week they finally finished up the match they had with uh, Dante High, um, and I and I feel like they did it fairly well. They're still trying to underline what they need to work on and utilize their. Like their their special quirk that they have in a sense, with uh, Hinata and uh, Kageyama's fast, quick, and then everyone else's uh, abilities in a sense. Um, yeah. Although they did throw in a new character, the new pitch server. Um, not sure where he came from or why he's needed. Really, I kind of I kind of was hoping that they would just stick with the original group that they fought against uh, Shiro. Uh, Shiro Toa. Yeah, I think Shiro Shiro Toriyama. Yeah, I thought that's who they're going to stick with for this whole group and just focus on them. So I don't like the fact that they're adding a new character in. Um, Wait, new character to the Shiro to to the Shiro Tori team? No, no, to the Karasuno team. The new pit server that they. Oh right, right. Right. Go ahead. No, they didn't use uh, Suki's friend. They used another guy as a pit server. So I thought that was kind of weird. Um. Well, I guess like for like a lot of teams or like just a lot of teams in general, you normally want to get at least a backup. Um, so let's say uh, Skishima's friend is sick or for some reason can't play like a game. At least right. they have another pinch server or mm-hmm. somebody's game's just off for that day. I mean, they have another guy that could maybe stick in. 
That's how but, I see it. I know. I'm, I, I get that. And then they did it with uh, uh, with the captain too when he got hit when he and Ryu collided with each other, mm-hmm. and then he had to go to the uh, to the nurse or the medic. And then they brought in that other guy that was kind of like an average Joe, but he was good at like rounding people up or getting oh, right. under yep. control. Yep. So, so I kind of get that. But uh, again, since the the season's just starting and this is their first uh, match in a sense of the season, I was kind of hoping for them to just kind of like focus on the main group rather than throwing yeah. someone random. Yeah, I I never <laughs> like this is the um, how long has this guy been on the team, or is this the first time we've seen him? I think it's the first time I've seen him. Okay. Maybe it's just the end. Maybe we like we've known this guy like the entire time, but the animation has just changed so much that he just seems like a whole new character. <laughs> I mean, possibly, but I don't think the animation changed that much. Maybe just just oh, a little bit. Uh, whatever, man. Whatever. Yeah. No, I'll admit though, the animation wasn't as smooth as I'd liked it to be, but I, I think it was still okay. It's still pretty have, good. Have you have you went back and like watched any of the the matches from previous seasons or no? Yeah, I saw some of the clips. Like, I I, I like to watch the uh, like the final matches of season one and two, mm-hmm. uh, and I I do notice that it's not as great, but it's still okay. Okay, all right. I think it's awful. <laughs> but oh, geez. The the animation is. Uh, I'll I'll show you like a couple clips, uh, David, and then just uh, I want to get your thoughts on it. I really want to know Brian's thoughts, and just because mm-hmm. I I think he I think he'll notice it, but. Uh, I'm still waiting for like the main kind of battle, I guess. Um, even though the season's kind of coming to a close and just nothing feels like it's really happened besides just training. Um, it is it is cool though to see that uh, that Hinata is actually like doing like different tempos instead of just you know, just the ball goes up and he's there. Uh, he's able to read the ball or watch the ball, I guess, and just kind of like follow it. And um, what do you think of uh, Kagayama becoming kind of like the he, he's going? He has his qu- king attitude again. Uh, you know, I think that's that's perfect. I think it's what they needed. Um, like it's it's always nice to have a, a friendly atmosphere, right? Mm-hmm. But I feel like with that kind of atmosphere, you can't really grow as a team because everyone's too afraid to tell what tell people what they think needs to be done to improve as a team and individually. Yeah. Uh, so I think this was a much needed change, and I feel like for him it's fine because he's yep. so good and he's played with higher tier caliber players he knows that he now. knows like what you need to do right <laughs> yeah. and then now he's with a team that can kind of like follow up with his plays so i, I think this is i think i think so far everything development wise and the way that the, the plot's progressing I, I think it's been perfect so far yeah um i i'm really just waiting to see the, um how they do in a tournament because everyone's growing so much and yeah. Hinata's growing at such a fast pace that like I'm sure there's plenty more that he can do. We just haven't seen it yet. Yeah, he just has finally becoming a beast. Like he he has other things. He's not he's not just there to hit Kageyama's ball or run around in circles. Yeah, he's not just a tool anymore. You know, he <laughs> yeah. actually has a brain. He can think for himself. Yeah, he could do stuff. <laughs> right. Dude, so, even uh, even Skishima too. Like dude, he's like he can actually hit the ball like a, like just like a beast now because Kageyama is actually forcing people to. He's basically upping their game. Right. So. I don't know, I guess I guess we'll see what's happening, but then uh, I don't know. Like I said, the animation I, I can tell that it's not as good as it used to be, but uh, hopefully it doesn't get worse because I think right now it's at a acceptable level, um, and any worse than this would probably not. Like for me, I think it's at an acceptable level. Okay. Um, so are, like, you, are like, you hoping that uh, the second half when they air <clears> in summer, you're hoping that maybe like the big they go all out for that because it seems like God, it's gonna so. be like the epic part of the season. I would, I would assume so because that's kind of like the the finishing arc, right? Or like the finish of the like the end of the story. I don't know what else they're gonna do after this. So, uh, no, manga's still going, and they go very far. <laughs> right, that's but that's the, from what I've heard from people. That's if the anime follows up because it took us three years to get this season to come out yeah. from the last season. So, I mean, I don't know. I'd be surprised if it, they don't do more, especially. The trend now is just adapting more anime because you want it for streaming services. Mm-hmm. So like before, it was just to sell the manga, but now it's like you make so much money from streaming that it makes it actually makes sense to make more anime. Plus, like with the popularity, plus uh, if this is like a new studio, like I wonder if they were meant they were made only just for Haikyuu. I don't know what else they were gonna do. See, 
that's the one where I think I mentioned this last time, but you weren't here, Ko, is mm. uh, since it's a new team, I mean, it's still the same animation studio, but it's different people working on this project or right. the anime. Well, so I, I don't know how much better the animation can get. Um, we might, I feel like we're kind of stuck with what we in, have seen so far. In anime, it could. I was going to say, like, but, in, in anime, like, uh, like staff matters more. Oh my god. Um, it's not going right now. Okay. Okay. Can you hear me? Uh, yes. Are you yes. still frozen? Oh. oh. Can you hear me? Is he back? Is he yeah, back? We can hear you, David. Oh, he's You're back. Did, did the stream die? Uh, yes. Well, right. Hopefully, comes back soon. Yeah. Well, the stream is technically dead, but you're the only one moving. Me and Ku are not moving. God, mm. God damn it. You're just kind of. And then now we're back. Okay. Are you, we good? <laughs> are we back on the stream? Yeah. We're good. God, this would be <sighs> terrible to, to edit too. My bad. I'm just causing mm. all kinds of technical problems for Stren. Yeah, you know. It's whatever. Okay. So I was trying to say before I got really interrupted by my own damn computer. <laughs> But um, in anime, uh, like staff and directors matter more than that the studio. Like uh, like One Punch Man, the reason people um praise season one so much is because of the director. So, the studio kind of helped too when it's not JC staff. Well, okay, yes, that too. But, but, so yeah, it's really it did like the staff. Like that's why people pay attention to um staff credits when new animes are announced because they matter so much. For how the animation's gonna look. Okay. So. Yeah, like I, I can see like the the matches getting slightly better with animation quality, but I think we're we basically uh, it's gonna be what like what we're seeing now. But, right. I mean, I, the story is still like what Ku said. It's still like it's still. I mean, it's still solid. Just uh, I wish the animation was as, was as good as the previous seasons because like for those hype moments, it's gonna. Oh man, it could be a. Uh, I don't know. We'll have to see how how those what, what feels I get. Mm -hmm. That's all. That's that's all I got though. Yeah, I mean that's basically it. Uh, as of right now, I I don't really know what to plan to do next because now that they finished the match, uh, they cut back to Hinata going back home, and just training by himself. And well, I, I, think I think his his sister brought a good point too. Like when they first started, it felt like he was a stranger to the ball. He wasn't really uh, like uh, meshing with the ball. Mm -hmm. Uh, but now it seems like it's it's a part of them. So his handle on the ball is a lot better, and it feels like his instincts is starting to be more refined. Mm -hmm. uh, so, like I said, I'm, I'm really hyped up, hoping that Hinata develops to be like a true beast. Uh, yeah. I, I guess we'll, we'll see what happens. Well, I think the training is done now, right? I think they're going to Nationals? Um, Possibly next episode? It okay. should be, yeah. Or at least setting it up, and then maybe just end, uh, end like right before like the beginning of the match or something? Yeah. But because what uh, what episode are we on now? I forget. It was like episode eight, nine. Oh, let me let me check. We are on. So far, we're on episode eight. Okay, so about four or five more episodes. Yep, uh, we, there will be thirteen this season. Yeah. Wow. So if anything, I'll probably just be them leading up to the the tournament and then yep. stopping it there. Yeah. Well. Um, I don't know. The only thing that kind of worries me is like I know Date Tech was basically um, kind of like a like an exhibition match. So, mm -hmm. and then I felt like we didn't even really get to see much of the game. It just felt like like they were talking forever. Then they would mm -hmm. just show like a score update, and then they would move on to more talking. Mm -hmm. But I don't know if it's just because it was just Date Tech and the match didn't really matter that much. Or if it's going to be kind of like in the future where they're going to be just showing a point here and there and then just forever talking. That's what's that, that's the only thing I'm worried about right now. Yeah, I think it was just a slight showcase of what they can can't do. I don't think it was of any importance, really. Okay, because I'm, 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 I feel like they're doing like the way they're doing it is because like they know that the animation quality is dipped. And they're like, I feel like they're avoiding a lot of those action scenes, and then just uh -huh. put, just filling in with a bunch of talking. And like I said, then just showing like a point here and there, and then uh, and then just kind of showing the score. And all of a sudden, you just realize the game's over, and it's just like we saw four points. Yeah, it's a possibility. You know, four points that went over like what three episodes. Um, 
Yeah, took forever. Uh, I mean, if anything, we should probably get another match going at least before the season ends. Mm-hmm. Um, but I don't know who else they can really play, except for maybe Alba. Uh, it could be a no-name team because um, it is it is the first round. Yeah, it doesn't have to be. A, yeah, it doesn't have to be an intense team, or they can get screwed and mm-hmm. get a terrible draw and have to face somebody that's good. Right. So. I don't know. It's it's it's. I guess we'll just have to wait and see what the next episode says. Because I didn't really catch what the next uh, episode preview was, if there was one, or if there was a title for the next. Their previews episode. are like two seconds long, so you really don't see much. Yeah. So I, there's really not much to go on of this, unfortunately. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, that's all I got. I'm good. All right. So we'll end there. Uh, no fake grind order this week because they're on a break. Rip. So, Again. Well, uh, so the next. Three episodes, Fake Grind Order. That'll be the last episodes we'll have. Epic. For Fake Grind Order. That too. So hopefully, like, yeah, no more confusing mm-hmm. in between breaks. So. David, calm your phone down. My bad. I should have put it on silent. This is a podcast. We take this seriously. No, man. I'm so unprofessional right now. <laughs> yeah. Yes, you are. <laughs> All right. So, uh, next. Be sting. <laughs> next, we're going to move on to It Invaded. Uh,. So, we're like, deep, I was saying last uh, week, we're like deep into the inception right now. and like, So deep. Yeah. <laughs> this episode just like got crazy and also pretty emotional at the end there. Really feel bad for, for Akihito. Just. Man, I, I honestly wanted to shed a tear because fucking uh, Sakairo, or uh, I, I just felt so bad for a guy. Yeah. And apparently he spent a year in there. Yep. And then apparently that's when a Hondo pop out of nowhere. So I'm, I don't I don't know exactly how that worked, but it was either she just arrived on scene at that point, and then uh, Sakaido has been there for a year, or she's been there for a year as well, but she just finally met up with him. She said um, she got there like 20 minutes ago, and right. um, they're talking like like Kiki. They were talking about how um, like the time works differently in dreams. Or a right, but they're 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 in the same uh, well though, which is why I find it to be kind of weird. Mm-hmm. Like they're both two tiers in, and apparently she I, I would assume she went in before he did. So, like in all honesty, she should have been there for a lot longer than he was. Yeah, I don't know. Like that that's the only explanation I can think of is just there. There's gotta say like, like just the time flows differently when you're like in consciousness. Like the okay, the most confusing part for me is when they revealed that at the end where. Like the desert area was still part of like was still part of like you know like Akihito's like well, mm-hmm. so he he was like he was already in his own well and he dove in deeper. That's the part that confused me more, because like yeah, the whole point of like you can't be in your own like subconscious. Un- no, no, you you can't. That's why when you realize that you are, that's what that storm was at the end of this episode was, uh, because the subconscious realized. Because the conscious figured out that sub, no, because the subconscious realized that he was consciously aware of where he was and he was in his own id, that that's why there was that storm that was brewing up. That's why they they lost contact with them and couldn't extract them anymore. And it looks like that's what that one guy's plan was all along. The guy at the home said, yeah. uh, he wanted this to occur. So that's okay. I I, I couldn't really tell like if he he's trying to actually like do this for like. He as he said he remembered so like, so there's he remembered the whole time. So that so, in that whole desert sequence, so he was basically lying to Sakaido, saying mm-hmm. that he he didn't remember anything. Okay. Yep. So from the sounds of it, he was, so, stringing all of them along all along. I wonder if it was from, the very get go when he first was being used to dive into wells, or if it was just this specific case where he dove into this well. I think. If he was straight but I, all I'm along, assuming he's known the whole time. I think yeah. it's the whole like the, from the very first time when he was like yeah. dying over and over. I think he knew, and he just mm-hmm. didn't tell them. Right. So, I don't know. Just just lots of curveballs being thrown at you, um, and I guess we're still trying to figure out who John Walker is. You know, it wouldn't really surprise me if John Walker was himself, just because of all the, the random twists and turns I had. I I think it's. I just still think it's the director. Like I think. He, like I don't know how, but like like he like maybe he like put the clothes on himself and he like planted that image into like Kiki or something, 
and that's where... or it could be that professor, the guy that was there and all uh, with uh, Kairu. I mean, he is uh, suspicious, but like, I don't. Know. It just all feels like it's just everything points to the director. So, yeah, it, it's gonna be really hard to kind of pinpoint again. They they never really throw you a ball, and they just kind of expect you to just follow along. So that kind of sucks. Yeah. Um, I'm more, but, I'm, but like once they start like figuring out the. Figuring out the story behind like Kiki and Kairu, like I, I, I don't know, mm-hmm. it just got way more interesting for me, so I didn't mind as much. Like I'm more, I'm more captivated by the story. Mm-hmm. And yeah, that's what, and like just like this, these two past two episodes, I just feel really bad because you just see, like that last episode, um, like when, when Akihito, like he was just like living like the life that he wanted, like you just felt so bad because you knew that she, like it was just gonna end bad. That he's mm-hmm. just gotta find out that he's gotta be so sad to be like, or. Last episode, they didn't really like. They didn't really show him that being too attached. But in this episode, it like it really got to him that like he just forgot that he was in like the the, the well. No. Yeah, I guess sad. they're they're trying so hard to focus on him trying to solve the mystery to figure out how to save Kairu that I guess they didn't really focus on that. But I mean, you would imagine like he he would always have wanted that to occur. Yeah. And then he he was going to spend every minute that he can with his family. So. Um, it was a real tearjerker, and I think it wasn't this episode, but the episode before, where she said, uh, "You know, any world where I'm not in, it's not real. As long as I'm here, you'll know that's the real world." Like that, that that would have hit him pretty deep, just because like he knows that. Oh, no, the re- if you are alive, then that's how I know it's not real. Like it's his, um, like trying to bring Inception into this. It's it was his token, yeah, to kind of know that it wasn't real or not. Uh, and then instead of limbo. <laughs> They call it dogma, so he's in dogma now. Yeah. So okay, that's uh, that's this, the word I was looking for when they when they said dogma. It's like that can't be the word. Like there's, there's like something else. Like that's oh, better. Oh, but it is. So like, <laughs> um, also, like yeah, I don't... they uh they showed the picture of his daughter getting when she was beat up. That was fucked up. <laughs> yeah, I can kind of see how he went on a killing spree afterwards. <laughs> um, I would probably do the same if I was him. But uh, I mean, I yeah, the like, dudes had it rough. Like when they, I mean, when like they they reveal it in the beginning of the series, when like when they reveal that his his daughter, his family died, and he went to kill the guy. It's like, yeah, I don't blame mm-hmm. the guy. But this this, yeah. this these two just episodes just really hit it hard. So, mm-hmm. and especially since like um this is more of a mature series, so it's more like older people watching it. Like I feel bad for the people with families like watching it, like the ones that have like like wives and kids, and they have to watch like. And they're trying to watch this series. Like, yeah, I suppose, but all in all, you're you're not supposed to make it. You're not supposed to get too attached to the series because it is just anime; it's not yeah, real. So, but so hopefully, they don't like go this, that route. Stuff like this that like, hits people, you know, when like when they can emphasize with that situation. Yeah, so, that's true. But um, so. I think but yeah, I mean, shit's about to get real. Uh, I I can't. I always want to pinpoint what's going on, but I can't. It's there's just too much going on. I can't figure out what's going to happen next. So I, I'm pretty excited for how it's going to end. I need to like give more credit to um uh, Hondo Machi or whatever, just because like I didn't really think of her much like when she first started. She's like mm-hmm. just the rookie who just got kidnapped and got a fucking hole in her head, and then like was almost about like I thought she was gonna like get kidnapped again when the guy tried to kiss her and stuff. But, oh yeah. So I didn't really think uh, much of her, but now it's like I'm pretty sure she has to be the one that saves like their solves the case because she's the one still in there. I mean, from the get go, I felt like she was special. I felt like she was going to be a main character just because of how she was doing everything so well. Like she was just a natural born detective or whatever. Um, so like I knew she was going to play a big part, but I didn't think she would play this big of a role. I yeah, I mean, um, I didn't think she'd get this big of a role. I thought it'd just be more definitely all all about. So kind of because like if you look at the the people working in, in like the like on like the machines like we barely know mm-hmm. about anyone besides like uh, Motoki, really, mm-hmm. and now and like and the the one chick because she has to take over him. But like yeah, we don't really know mm-hmm. about anyone besides just basically the, like the people who dove in the wells. Yeah, so it was a nice twist. I think it's nice to have someone else that I can help out. But um, you get the feeling that like she's gonna be stuck in dogma. <laughs> think so i think i I can't imagine like i can't imagine it her being stuck there i think 
I mean, with her personality and with what she's been tasked to do now, like she has the kind of notes. So whatever he's been doing for the past year or so in that well, uh, she's going to have to finish that investigation. Uh, so I'm pretty sure she's going to be the one that finds John Walker. But then the price that she's going to pay for it is with her own life. Like, I feel like she's really? going to stay until the very end. And then she's just going to be stuck there. It seems like usually the way things go, these things go, it's like the main character is the one to sacrifice himself. And like, Mm-hmm. And he be he the one he be the one that has less to lose because he you know he felt like he he be one feeling like okay like this is what I can do now you know the, I already lost everything at least let me do this one thing in my life and I would believe that is if, if he was when I got stuck and not uh, not Hondo yeah so but, but I think I think more like the I think they'll I think she'll get out yeah we'll we'll see <laughs> <laughs> we'll see yeah. But uh, yeah, that's that's all I got with this one. All right, so that's gonna be it for uh, Invaded, and then we're moving next to Darwin's game. Um, I was actually so I was surprised in this episode uh, that the event ended because I thought it was gonna last through the whole series. I think we're only on episode eight or something, eight or nine. Eight or nine, yeah. On, on and like there's only eleven, and there's like 11, 11 episodes, but yeah, I'm surprised mm-hmm. the, the event ended, and it just, it and it was so weird, just like. Like he just, he's really lackluster. Like I yeah, feel. Well, just so anticlimactic. He like it was just a bluff, and then he entered the key code, and then the event ends just like that. Like mm-hmm. you were, you were, we were so expecting like a big like, like, like fight, and it didn't happen. Yeah, they're setting up so much for it. I mean, uh, the girl and the ice ice chick and guy that was in trapped one body, they were fighting a giant battle. Uh, the analyst was like. Uh, hidden somewhere trying to figure out the code yeah. and i thought it was gonna be something in, in regards to darwin or his book or whatever but she uh isolated to just uh a, a password for the the lockers at the shibuya station um yeah dude i was expecting something so much crazier to happen but uh i i guess they're setting up for the final arc in the in the series but like there's so like very little time left so like I guess, I guess like if this, they make it season two, I'll be okay with it. Okay. I was <laughs> right. like, stuff like this, like it makes more sense in a manga because like you can uh-huh. always, this will be a good like, this this is a good like um foreshadowing or just a good like setup for mm-hmm. the actual fight. But like in like a twelve season or like eleven episode anime, it's, just, it's like it's just so just so disappointing, like. Uh, we'll see because the next fight seems to be a pretty big one too. He has. Uh, that the MC has some kind of crazy privilege now. Uh, I don't oh, know yeah. if that's power or if that's an extra option he can use on his phone or whatever, but it's something that can help him use it as a deterrence, uh, as like a safety net or something like that. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I'm really curious as to what that's going to be. And then apparently he's like super buff now because for the past two months okay, he's been know, well, super training buff. nonstop. He's just doing curls, bro. Right, right. But what I'm saying is, is like he's for the past two months he's been training at, at that gym, right, where they're supposedly like a martial arts gym or a club, um, and he's about to go one on one with a guy who can supposedly go one v one versus a tank. So if he's that confident in his abilities, I mean, he's got to be pretty damn buff now, like or pretty damn strong now. I don't know, buff. I think he's more confident in his in his skill. Like I think. He- he can um, use like weapons and like guns more effectively, right? Especially since um his what his main power is the 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 blacksmith guy. I think he probably like figure out how to use that more effectively. So, oh yeah, it has a name now, right? The Fire, Fire Iron, Iron God, God uh, something like that. Something like that. It's pretty. It just reminds That's me. pretty more, badass. It just reminds <laughs> me like. It just reminds you just like um, just all like the the black like the blacksmith either like Dark Souls or Grand Sekiro or like or even like. Blacksmith mm-hmm. guy from like Damachi. It's like right. I always love those blacksmiths. So. But uh yeah, no, it's 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 set up it, it feels like it's set up something huge, but with only three to four episodes left, it's it's I don't see how they're gonna do it really. Yeah. Well, okay. So uh that one friend at the end he was getting he's getting kidnapped by one of the ace clan members, so maybe yep. maybe this will be like the, the big fight that we were that should have happened in the event. Maybe this it's gonna happen mm-hmm. now. But it's just it, I can't see being a good setup of only three episodes. So yeah, if they do that, it's gonna be rushed. And then, like I said, I feel like it's just gonna be a setup for next season. I d- 
unless they want to disappoint you again with another lackluster finish. <laughs> like they always I, I don't do see with it. these kind of animes. <sighs> yeah, but like I said, it's so far so good. Uh, I'm I'm just hoping that they don't like call back too much, right? Or like they actually use something with closure rather than just leaving it open ended again. Um, like or I said, they it's, can do every... anime original. That's always one of the options. Right, but it's like every time something like this happens, I always end up getting disappointed. So I, I'm not yeah. gonna have too much hope in them. Yeah, that's why I mentioned them just so you don't get your hopes up too much. Yeah, but it's so good though, Dude, and I wanted, I just want to know. I, I think at this point, I just want to know what his special privilege was, and then I think I'll be okay with that. Like I, at I, this point, I think that's what I need to settle for. I think they'll reveal it like next episode or like this by the end of the season. But you really think mm-hmm. it's that good? Like I don't know. It just, it just seems. I mean, it's fun to watch, but. It just seems like every other like, like survival, like battle survival, especially like a bat, a, a, like a death game, like. Yeah, but this guy seems really smart. He he, apparently he's like a genius now, I guess at this. But um, he 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 even got that scientist or the creator of the game to be like, oh man, that's something. All right, I can give you that, and then you know he got it. So it has to be something that's completely overpowered. Um. It'll probably, like, to be honest, I don't think it'll be completely showcased in the next episode. I think it's going to take about two episodes to uh, to kind of reveal itself. Mm. Oh, by the way, I, I, I didn't, it took me, like, I think a couple episodes back to realize that uh, Wang is voiced by Kirito because he's the crazy voice. So I just think about the, the cultist from ReZero. Never Kirito heard. from yeah. Sword Art? Yeah. I'm pretty sure it's Kirito's oh. voice actor. Like, it, but he's using he's using the crazy voice like the crazy voice he did for V Zero, for that cultist mm-hmm. member. Oh, I have no idea. I, I'm horrible with the voices. I'm pretty sure it's Kirito. Like it's I'm pretty sure it's the V Zero voice that he did. Mm. So like. Yeah, and then like as of right now, I don't think there's any way they can fight Wang. Wang is too fucking strong right now. Just, this guy can blink and basically just well, slice you up with his fingers. Yeah, it's so weird that he's so old. He's just using teleportation. I don't know. I think they need to explain that more to show why he's so OP. But besides that, he's like the leader. He's the leader of the clan. I was, oh, I was also like, mentioned too how because you weren't here last week too. But like when um mm-hmm. when they were fighting Ace Clan, I thought it was really mm-hmm. dumb how um when they get, when they got caught like the guy with the machine gun, he just like st- he stood there and he didn't get shot at all and he just, just basically took out like a whole bunch of people in the station with his with his oh, machine gun. Uh... Yeah, like their, something, their, something. Their excuse was like, he had he had body armor on. That's why he didn't really matter. Uh-huh. But he just, he just he basically just stood there, and he like he stood there and just sprayed and frayed and got everyone. And I was like, that was really dumb. The only thing I can think of is something something Star Trooper aim something something. <laughs> Pretty much. Uh, plant armor. Pretty much. <laughs> it's like Star 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 Trooper accuracy plus like quote unquote body armor, but like, come on. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's pretty legit, right? Because then when the MC tried to shoot at him when they first met, like, it didn't even penetrate his armor. He just, he just brushed it off. So uh, it, I, I guess it kind of makes sense. Just, and if you really think just looked it, dumb. Like, yeah. Like, action-wise, just looked dumb. Like, having him, like, he didn't even try to go for cover. He just stood there. Mm-hmm. Like I said, it's, it's reasonable. I, I think the only thing that he would be scared of is something that's stronger than his uh, LMG. Um, So I, I think he knows what he's doing that's probably why he just stood there mm-hmm. gotta compensate for that weak ass sigil he has so <laughs> kind of makes sense um but yeah i mean that, that's pretty much it though i mean they, they finally showcased the the other guy that he fought in the alloy that one time the brawler oh, was um, that him so... at, at the gym yep okay mm-hmm. I, I don't remember i don't remember him at all it's, it's been a while and he doesn't like show up since mm-hmm. so it's hard for me to remember no, he showed up one more time to he ambushed three uh three random characters oh, okay. and took their rings. Um Okay, that's but, okay. I that part, okay. Yeah. I knew like those characters, I, I knew I recognized them somewhere, but I just couldn't remember where. So mm-hmm. the soul connection was like I couldn't remember any of it until just now. Yeah. So like I said, a lot of things to go through, but uh, they they seem to be just rushing to get off the main points of the story. Um but yeah, the next two episodes, they're going to probably team up and then you're going to see what privilege he has now. And if anything, they'll probably rescue his friend, but that'll be like, that'll, that'll be where they end the season, I think. Mm-hmm. But um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. 
like super exciting though, but uh, I'm, I'm probably gonna be disappointed at the very end, probably. <laughs> So, yeah, that's going to get for Darwin's game. Uh, we're going to move on next to uh, Science Fell in Love. Um, I don't know. This episode was okay, again. I thought uh, last week's episode was, like, it was actually pretty funny because they were ch- mm-hmm. basically trying to find out all the physicians were hugging. <laughs> and <it> just... <laughs> <laughs> a little a little Karma Sutra lessons, I guess. Um... I don't know. It just looked like they were just, like, eventually you just got to the 69 position, basically. Like, mm-hmm. The most optimal position, apparently. <laughs> so that yeah, part, no, the uh, that part was more like that was more funny than anything that's been going on for the past like three or four weeks. So yeah, you know, honestly, the the last episode wasn't that great except for that one moment, and then this episode I actually liked it quite a bit just because of the fact that Kosuke came up and he started defending his adult gaming oh my God. <laughs> research, and it's like. Yeah, it seems legit. And then, like, everyone in the crowd was, like, totally on board, except for that one professor that kept questioning him. Yeah. Um, so I think that whole segment is kind of what saved that episode for me. Otherwise, it wasn't really that great. Um, they were pay- they were pretty much just setting up drama for uh, uh, the, the MC and Himoro. Oh, yeah. That, that part is done. Um, yeah, so drama's going to happen with that. But the whole Kosuke presentation and, <laughs> like, him just doing that, that that made my day funniest five to ten minutes of the episode ever in that series yeah. so i thought that the, the um, position was more funny but that part is funny too but i just want to mention that um it's it's the whole drama thing was done because like Hamora she was basically behind like the whiteboard while he was like explaining while him and kanye were explaining to each other so she should have heard it and she said, right she should have so i don't know if she was just kind of starting drama like she just wanted to confirm what was going on like maybe she wanted to hear it from him directly um but or maybe she was just so uh like tense from seeing them that she just blocked out everything and she was trying to figure out what was going on um i mean it's it's a possibility the shock value might have caused her to not remember or just shut off the whole outside world so that could be a possibility yeah um i felt bad for the first guy who went who just got destroyed (laughs) Bye. Yeah, dude, he got shitted on so hard. Like, I mean, I guess he should have worked harder, but still, like, this is... It's hard to make, like, math presentations interesting, all right? Like, like, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. I'm, I'm illiterate. I never went to school, so I guess I can't really comment. Okay, whatever. <laughs> whatever. Like, but yeah, no, he... I mean, I guess, yeah, he should have tried harder, but it looks like he actually... He, I mean, from Sansa, he did try. He just didn't try hard enough to their standards. But yeah, I felt kind of bad for the guy. He he was the first one to go, and he just got shattered on. So that was pretty. Uh, and that the, was pretty the thing about like research presentation too, it's like, yeah, it's like I I I don't I mean, I don't know, I just don't like that attitude they have of like, like it should be more of like um, in, like encouraging the students to, like, to help out on the research, not just like just shitting on them just because like they, like they're. I don't, know. I don't think the guy's like presentation was that bad. Just like maybe he could have like, got like he was he was like I don't know. He, I don't know. To be honest, I felt like if because this is for this is for their the bachelors right going yeah. to the master's degree. Um, I felt like th- it was actually fine because yeah. well, you well, know how when when Kanadia went and then she had the same shit like same questions, the same pressure put on her. Uh, she was able to answer perfectly fine and actually like impressed all the professors there. Yeah. So I felt like it was it was it was perfectly fine. That guy just was not prepared for this whatsoever. So that that wasn't really uh, that's that's more his fault than the others. I guess, but like again, like I mean, this is a bachelor's, and it's like where like so far, like um, we've been looking at like um, the two main characters who are like graduate students, so they have more pressure, mm-hmm. but. Like everyone mm-hmm. else is still like they're like they're seniors, they're seniors in their bachelor program. So mm-hmm. yeah, I don't know. I just felt bad. Like he sh- I don't. I just don't like that type of like <laughs> that kind of style where you just basically just shitting on people. Just it's the real world, David. You gotta no. you gotta learn how to deal with it, man. Yeah, that's... It's not it's not all rainbows and sunshine and <laughs> like, research is hard, right? And like. I, I agree it's hard, yeah, but like there has to be a standard. Especially when you make students do it. Like, there's, there's like, there's only so much that they know at that point. So, you should be there to help them, like, grow, not tear them down. 
No, but this is how you help them grow. Imagine if they were doing this for real at a, like a giant convention and then they couldn't answer any of the questions or they were doing just as bad yeah. like this guy did. It's going to be way worse because there's no real courtesy or kind of procedure of how to do the Q&A, right? It's basically if you've been if if you're going to get this proven like right away, a bunch of a bunch of other professionals like I I feel like it's going to be way worse. And then you're just going to be the laughing stock, and there goes your whole career, right? Jeez. So I feel like this is fine because it's going to prepare you for the the harshness of, of the the real world once you get outside. So I I think it's fine. Yeah, I guess. Uh, but, but, but maybe maybe I'm just a hard ass. I don't know. But anyways, going back to the series, like yeah, I don't know. I just I'm not I'm I don't I'm not like looking forward to the the upcoming drama and. Yeah. Comedy, oh yeah, no, like the still, series is still been like pretty flat. So yeah, it, it's it is it has been kind of flat, and to be honest, like the series isn't hasn't been that great for me as it was in the beginning. But uh, like Himuro, like I said, she's amazing. I think she's best waifu so far. Um, dude, she has tons of assets to provide oh to God, uh, the MC. Right. So degenerate. two thumbs up. <laughs> Hey, it's not my fault. I like what I like. That's just how it is. At least I'm honest with myself. I'll back up Ku. No idea what he's talking about, but I back him up. Man, Damn you, straight. You, that's why you. That's that's why Kosuke like reached out to you. Yeah, bro. I mean, dude, this guy like if I was him, there was no way in hell I would presented it with that much confidence. But this guy nailed it perfectly. His passion is is is, is nothing to mess with. <laughs> this could... But yeah, man. I mean. It's not my fault. I'm just brutally honest, but so, yeah, I don't know. I don't yeah, know. that's it. Yeah, I just, I, just, I just think it's just wasted potential. I think they could have done much more with the comedy in the series. So, oh yeah, for sure. I mean, even with the with the plot that they're going with, with the whole manga artist being there to develop both their relationships, oh, I, I they kind of just I told completely was, ignored I, about her. Totally fresh, she was there until you brought it up. So that's all. Yeah, right. See, that's, it's like it's not consistent. They just completely ignored her and like shut her out of this episode. That's how important she is to the story that I completely forgot about her. Yeah. So, like I said, the only thing that's pulling me along is Kosuke and Himuro. That's the only thing. <laughs> all right, we're gonna end it there for science fall in love. Uh, we're moving next to Bofuri. Um. So okay, so Bofuri is getting pretty stupid. I, I'm not gonna lie. Um, did you talk about the 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 previous two episodes no because i did i'm not caught up so it's all you cool okay so so basically uh I'm forgetting what i'm missing out here so they were prepping for this new event that's happening it's the third event of the game something about collecting coins from uh sheeps or whatever so basically everyone in the guild is trying to like get stronger and um get ready for this major event and in this last episode, they didn't even, like showcase the event really. They just showcase uh, Maple just getting like extremely overpowered abilities again. Um, you don't and, say. Yeah, right. So I was kind of hoping that they would get past that part and try to develop more of a guild-like atmosphere and like a, a like a team event. Um, but yeah, it was just freaking Maple soloing this dark demon lord. And then grant getting demon powers, oh so she God. can transform to a demon now, what? like legit metamorphosize into a oh, giant no. demon, and it's fucking overpowered, right? Because that's what tanks do, right? Yeah, because even 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 Maple was like, oh, you know, like due to the event's prize, we got this thing that buffs everyone in our guild's strength by three percent, and then everyone was making fun of Maple, saying, oh, it doesn't apply to you though, because you're zero times three percent, still zero. And it's just like, oh yeah, yeah, shows what you know. So she takes him to the uh, the boss for that level to get to level three, and she just she solos the 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 floor uh, the floor boss oh. by transforming to an ability she get she just acquired, solo them one v one, and then she makes it to the the the, the next uh, level of, of the game. And if that wasn't enough, right? They went to go explore the new town that they just arrived to. And she solos this machine god because she now has the ability to transform into this like Gundam uh, <laughs> mecha suit thing. So now she's even more powerful. She has the ability to transform into an angel, a demon, <laughs> and a machine god. Like this, this girl what? is legit so overpowered. I don't even know what 
like the uh like the story writers were thinking of this is, this is what happened. and that's how they ended it and this is how they ended it. they ended it with her even saying like what the fuck just happened right like what did i just get this, and this, that... is, this is what happens when people who don't play games write stories about video games I'm, I'm pretty sure they know what they're doing and they're just trying to like are you sure focus on they're, they're trying to focus on the ridiculousness of this character i think that's just all they're doing yeah, because it's it, like it's insane, like how overpowering they're going to make this this MC, and then even the um, what was it the the creatures, like the developers of the game, they're like, oh, there's no way she could become even more overpowered, right? And then they cut out to that scene to where she gets all these new powers too. Okay, when you say like that, stronger. it sounds like they're trying to a parody of like right. of like broken game mechanics, but like mm-hmm. it's not working because it's it just ends up being more. Re- it, it ends up them being falling, falling into the trope than them trying to like actually parody it. You know, like they're falling. Yeah, so if, they're falling in that trap themselves. Yeah. So if anything, I wonder if this this whole series is just a satire on MMOs and overpowered MCs and whatever. I mean, I mean just based on the title, like it's. Sh- I guess like it's. We're, we're obviously not supposed to take it seriously, but you can't help but think about it just because like. Right. Right. And then like the like the first. Three, like when Sally became involved, they be they made it more like team oriented, right? Like like yeah. they were doing yeah. these crazy bosses. I thought that's what they're gonna try to build towards because uh, for the last three episodes, all the other guild members have been slowly developing their skills and they're getting like some airtime. So I thought they're gonna do some crazy fight singing for this third event, but they just like skipped it to the point where Maple just gets more overpowered abilities. See, like, so I, you could, I don't know. They could have at least like stuck with the, the gimmick and just have maple just be the tank like right at least do that then like stick mm-hmm. with that gimmick but you, they can't even do that that's i don't know that's i don't think that, that's just bad writing right there like, yeah at this point i don't know where it's gonna end up but that's just, that, that's like that's like basically that's just admitting that you're making it up as you go which is yeah how, pretty much uh, which is how like a lot of these like these things are like I mean, it's not. I don't call it isekai because it's an MMO, but like, like whatever right. stuff. Like, like usually these things, like it's it, they're written on like these, on the online websites where people submit like um, web novels, mm-hmm. and usually when you do that, like you you um, you make it up as you go along, and so that's probably what happened here. It's like it somehow you know just somehow got popular, got published into a light novel, and then the light novel became an anime. And the thing is that like when you do like text, it's less risky. So like. Mm-hmm. Even if you don't have a big audience, you can still publish it because you don't need to sell that much. But then now that it's anime, like it's like people, there's more, there's more of an audience. So then, it's only until it's only to get the wider audience you realize how ridiculous all these, all this stuff is. Yeah, no, honestly, I don't know where they're going with this, but I, I guess I'm kind of sticking and tagging along for the ride because there's only like three or four more episodes. Uh, but I mean, to be honest, though, it is more amusing. Or entertaining than infinite anagram, so I, I guess it's doing something. I just like this is like, I don't know, like at least stick to the gimmick, like stick to the gimmick of having just be the t- an, like you know, a tank, not just giving her OP powers out of nowhere. Yeah, I mean, we'll, we'll see what they do with this. Like, you know, honestly, like I said, three or four more episodes, like it, they can't obviously make it any worse, but yeah, that's what you think. Yeah, I don't know, we'll see what happens, and also just like, um. That's disappointing too. Like whenever like you have like MMO settings, and they always fail to get like the, the guild or like the party structure. Like they don't. They never mm-hmm. have like the feeling of, like, being an actual group. It's right. again like it's like bad writing because like it's not taking, the perspective of other people, other other characters in the story. It's just these writers like, focusing too much on the main characters. Mm-hmm. That's like so. It's just it's always disappointing. I'm always. I, I always look forward to like MMO stories where you actually have group settings and like like an environment that seems like you have other people interacting with each other, not just focusing on one the main character. Yeah. I mean, if anything, there's always Log Horizon. <laughs> Log Horizon three. Yeah. Um but yeah, like I said, I guess it's just but we need, the way we winter need more is. than just Log Horizon, right? <laughs> we need that can't Dude, be shit, Harold. Like, that can't be more than the only one. Well, 
we'll, we'll wait for Shield Hero. If, if, I mean, if that's, Bemi... well, that's not MMO. That's that's Isekai. So I'm, it's not. But I mean, I'm thinking about I'm thinking about MMOs because at least for MMOs, it's like you have all these people with with powers. So like you, so like, you want to see them like do like team like coordinate together as a team. I mean, to be honest, though, I can kind of see why they kind of put them in the same group because they they feel somewhat similar, but then they've been so overdone. I kind of wish they would just stop. Well, the thing is, well, that's because like some isekais are like are are MMOs. People just get trapped in the MMO game, mm-hmm. and then like a bunch of isekais, even though they're not MMOs, they have game elements because like the shortcut writing right there. Right. But like so. But I I. I still separate them because, like MMOs, you don't feel the sense of like urgency just because it's a game. Like, right? Like, usually you're not gonna die, and you can always like go back to um, like your the real world. I mean, if anything, they can make something as good as maybe Dot Hack or Persona. I guess that would be nice for a change if they actually pull out quality stuff rather than this garbage. <laughs> Um, and this has come from Isekai guy, right? Like I really love Isekais, but even I'm getting sick of them. So it's because um, I I enjoy the settings of Isekai, but like no one's done it right, or or they don't use the settings. Few correctly. have few have done few it right. Yeah, like, they don't use the settings correctly. Like it's always like yeah, it's always like the gimmicks, and they never and they never like um do the world building. That like the whole point of an Isekai is world building. Mm-hmm. And few of them do that really. It's always about like the main character. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'll just start reading manga again because I feel like mangas just do it way better. And well, that's because like most the, of the good off, ones, most of these guys are light novels slash flip novels. Right. So, but I feel like the good ones are never being animated. It's always the bad ones for some reason. Yeah. I don't know why. That's but... why. That's why manga superior. <sighs> but I can't read, sir. It's hard. Yeah, be quiet, Stren. <laughs> uh but yeah that's all i got for this one it's it's crazy but i mean it is what it is so all right so that's gonna be it for both um i'm gonna go next to inspector uh i'll keep this i don't really have much to say just because like um nothing really much happened in this episode i i mentioned this last week and i'll say it again too i just feel like this whole arc with uh steel lady honestly i just feel like it's dragging on because like you just keep iterating the whole the 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 whole thing over and over about how like oh this like this ghost like she was only she only came to life because like she was made up and then a whole bunch of people believed her and now we gotta we gotta fight we gotta like make up lies to to like fight like the truth whatever like it's just been repeated so much and in this episode it's like pretty much the same thing the only thing really new is that we get learn more about rika and just how she's um she's so part because she's part of like of uh Kuro's family that of course she has the like, same abilities that he does but like I don't know it didn't really they didn't really give her any like motives for why she created like uh still Lady Nase and like why she's doing all this so I don't know I don't, I don't know what to say about her character because like they don't really give us much motivation besides like besides her trying to like figure out the extent of her, her powers so she her foresight powers. Um, the only like the only thing interesting about this arc is just like because just because like it's kind of it's kind of relatable to like uh, just online discussions in general where like where um, because uh, because so many people online believe the story that like like um, like Kotoko she has to try all these like these like. Um, complicated explanation just to make make like the whole thing about the ghosts like like she has to make it all, all seem like it's not real even though it is real so I don't know I don't I don't know if they're gonna, like explain more of that how like she's actually gonna do it but like be it'd be actually be interesting to see if they if they do otherwise like I just want this I don't really I just want the this arc to end because yeah it's just going on for a while and it was, and it's pretty much it pretty much took up the whole anime like from like episode three or four and yeah and like i would much rather have something else so like and i don't know if this is gonna get a second season or not i don't know how popular it is so i'll probably just end up reading the manga um yeah that's pretty much all i have to say for inspector like i don't have much else <laughs> um and then and that's that's 
it for most of the normal shells. I guess we'll move on next to My Hero Academia. Um, All right. Cool. What are your thoughts since you've been gone? Uh, so, in regards to the story and how it ties with the movie of how fucking Deku can shoot bullets now with <laughs> of air, uh, I guess it kind of makes sense. Um, we can save that, the, that part for the movie, too. Yeah. So, uh, it, we'll just talk about the episode for now. Yeah, the, the episode itself, it's, it, it's, I don't know, it's, it's really, it, it, it's kind of boring. Um, it's really not that entertaining for me. But uh, Stratton's slice of life that he loves so much. Hey, I'm still okay with it. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm, I'm still sure, enjoying I'm, it. I'm sure I'm the only guy that, that will say this, but the, uh, I kind of like the gentle criminal. He brings like a, uh, a certain aspect to the show since it's doing the slice of life route oh, now. You're not the only uh, one who likes it. There's plenty of people. Like I think it's like again like the the polarized audience, like people who like or don't like Gentle Criminal. I yeah, like started, he's... I started liking him more from the after this episode. I didn't care for him before then. Yeah, because he's just some old guy who who wanted to make a name for himself. He he had no idea how to use technology, and then this one lowly chick stalker hacked his information and found out where he lived and wanted to be a sidekick. Normal. Yeah, normal just, stuff. Just, just completely normal stuff. Normal. So hopefully she's 18 plus because he's about to get FDA by the FBI. If that's the case. That never happens uh, to me. You know that. Yeah. He could, he could just dye his hair. We don't know that. He could be 17. <laughs> no, 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 no. He, he's, he's an old man who doesn't know how to use technology. Oh, he's, I'm, he's, I'm... he's basically Stratton. He's a millennial who doesn't understand technology. <laughs> My <laughs> God! Why me? I've been so quiet this whole time. Yeah, but the, his character design is, is actually... Uh, it, it's enjoyable. I, I like it. His like, um, motivation, just, it's basically like a knockoff stain where it's just, again, it's like all the heroes are lazy. Like That's why I need to... I need to right. like, do crime I think to like, motivate them. I think mm -hmm. this guy this guy just wants to become a YouTuber. I don't know if he cares about that. <laughs> That's all this guy wants to do. Hey, he man. just wants to like break in, have a video. It's like, hey, I'm in UA and probably just dip. No, he just wants to be a uh an idol, right? A a person that that people can look up to, I guess, like Stain. Like you're right, he's he's kind of just the uh the it, it, the, it, the worst it, version of Stain. It just feels like a lot of the villain's motivation is just like a worse version of Stain. Like right. just like I mean I can't name See, specifics, but a lot of the motivation is just basically like yeah, the heroes are are late. it's I think like they they compare it to like the entertainment um industry where it's like people don't where like a lot of people like popular artists they don't do it for the art anymore they do it for the money and fame and he's uh -huh. a lot of the villains they compare it to that where villains or heroes don't do it for justice anymore they do it for the fame and popularity. Mm -hmm. I, don't know. I feel like all the all the villain all the villains like they they start kind of following Stan's beliefs, but then in a sense they kind of just like they the they change them. Um, kind of like how overhaul it's like I feel like he actually I don't know if was Stan or uh, did he have anything to do with Stan? Like no. was he did he reference him at all? No, I don't think so. I can't okay, remember. I, I just I just feel like a lot of it's because like. It's overall, I mean, overall, in the end, it's because he was greedy, which is a dumb reason. Yeah, well, I just felt like how like a lot of the villains that they they start off like wanting to kind of kind of follow Stain's beliefs and whatnot, but it always seems like it changes somewhere or they get warped somewhere, See, the, and uh, it just doesn't it doesn't follow that same time or. Uh, this is like the problem goal, with like, ha having a shonen series about this is that like, like that's like the only yeah the only like good uh, motivation is like Stain where like. Where the heroes, like you know, they're just in it for fame and money or popularity, but like they don't really mm -hmm. like they don't go more detail about other motivation. Like I, like most of the time, like stuff like this, it's when you hate society, it's usually because like it's usually because they're oppressing you. So like, there's no mention of like of heroes hating the the, the there's, there's no there's no mention of villains hating the hero system because like because it's racist or anything or because like people get discriminated of their because of their abilities or because like. Mm -hmm. Or stuff like that. Like we don't hear any of that. It's always just because, like, like you know, heroes don't have any justice, or yeah, they're just lazy. That's that's all. That's all the, just the motives we heard so far. So. Yeah. So like, until like we hear more like, more different like views of of the villains, like it's hard to. 
it's hard to see pe- people than just like just a worse off version of Stain. Besides, besides yeah. like the only the only other difference is, is overall because he was greedy and he just wanted to do it for himself and like being leader of his family, and then um like Tomura, I I think it's just because like he just wants to live up to like um was it all what one all for one's uh, expectations. Mm-hmm. Like, I, I don't think he cares to follow Stan's police at all, though. He, he, I think his is just because like, he's supposed to kill everybody. I think just because like mm-hmm. he, whatever All for One wanted, he just wants to follow in his footsteps. So it's like it's like following the mentor's footsteps. Like it's like the whole and like plus like being an orphan too. Yeah, true. And, like I'm still waiting for them to reveal more why why he got uh, why he was main to like why he just fell off like because he was put in because he was like you know he's. I think the grandson of um of uh All Might's mentor or whatever. So I just want to see like what happened in that time period. That's that's what I'm more interested in. Maybe one day. But besides uh besides was a gentle criminal, they're still setting up for band band stuff. Um, and then uh, <laughs> Deco got de- demoted even further by basically just holding a rope for. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, what's yeah. what's the what's the term? Uh, is it stage crew? Stage crew, yeah. Yeah, that feels bad, man. Hey, One for all no, for stage crew. No, no disrespect for stage crew, right? They they keep the events running. I don't know, man. When you have Deku, I, I think that's disrespect. <laughs> it's pretty disrespectful. I mean, yeah. he, was, he was struggling with the the two step, so. No, that was in the very beginning, but I'm sure he's doing great now. <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm he's so... spending all of his time talking to uh, all my. I'm still still cringing yeah. for the the dance, but um, yeah, it'll be fine. I'm not worried about and it. Then, and then, like, dance isn't even that bad. I feel like dance is good for melee. See, see, David, it allows them to do like more, like more flexibility in their movement, right? Like, especially if, like, if you remember in a movie, I know we shouldn't talk about it, but in a movie when he was dodging lasers and shit, like, <laughs> he was very flexible and his body movement was actually pretty, uh, yeah, uh, pretty evasive. Because he was a dancer, or he he learned some dance moves, it's, so maybe it's 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 useful, you know. It's weird. Okay, I'll, I'll mention it later in the movie. Yeah, I'll just wait till later. But um, but uh, mm-hmm. this part too, like when because we had All Might mentioning like his support gear, and then he went to um, the hot oh, yeah. hot chick. Like I'm pretty sure that's where he gets the the cannon, the wind cannon. Oh yeah, thing, God, so. spoilers! God damn. People no, they said it. the movie. Okay. No, they see it. They saw it in this in the show. And it's not canon, so it doesn't matter where he got it from. But okay, yeah, right. You guys are ruiners. I'm, all of you. I'm the ruiner. Okay. You're all ruiners. Okay. Uh, big whoop! They should have saw the movie if they're true fans already. <laughs> but um, yeah. I don't know, like this whole like whatever, whatever stuff they're trying to do with like gentle criminal breaking into the festival. It's like I don't really care. And and then I, and I guess like. It was. It's nice, like seeing Ari like out of the hospital, like trying to be normal. I hope like mm-hmm. they don't use that excuse to like, like, oh, she's normal now. She can use her powers soon, or whatever. Like, cause I still, I don't want her to like be like the. No, I still don't know. I don't. I still don't think they know how to use her powers. I don't want her to be like the. I don't know what's the word, but like just the cure all. I do. Just like the. Cure-all. I do. What what word? What's the word? Cure all. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. The Dragon Ball of the series. We'll, we'll stick with that. I don't want her to she's, be like just she's Shenron. Whenever like shit goes wrong and like they need like a way to re- re- reverse it, I don't want her just. So the cop out. Cop out. Yeah, that's that's why I want. I'm her. fine with it. I don't care. So. The the highlight of the episode was uh, <laughs> was Lamillion trying to sneak around normally since he can't go through walls, <laughs> and he gets caught immediately. That was my favorite part. No, and then like freaking the dude showed Eri when he got caught, and then he turned around, showed his ass, and was like, "Look, I got it's peaches," and his his ass starts it. jiggling. Do you understand the joke? <laughs> nope, but it was pretty definitely. Like, I didn't care, man. It's because like peaches, it's like it's like you say the shape of a peach looks like like it looks like an ass. So, David, like, I thought it was more than that. Everybody knows that. Okay, well, <laughs> I thought there was a more like hidden meaning. Well, and also and like like. Peaches is also like I pre- I'm sure I, I don't know if this part is true, but like you can also like say that, like like it's it's like, it's like when peaches more of like you think of it as a, as a girl's fruit, so like so when he like said 
he showed his ass and like airy it's supposed to, i think it's supposed to be a pun being like you know he's like he's like like a cute little girl and he's also my, like my peaches as well i think that's like a joke they're trying to go through but it doesn't like translate well in english there let's move on <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you lost me there. Uh, it, was, it, was, it was funny until you tried to explain the yeah. joke. Don't ruin the million for me. <laughs> Don't ruin it. Don't I'll, ruin I'll this. I'll always ruin the million for you. Uh, okay. I don't know. I mean, I really don't have much more to say about this episode. It's uh, oh, I, I'm, it's like was, it's fine, but I still I don't say, know. If there's a preview, I didn't watch it, so that's how much I care about this arc. There is a preview. It's up with uh, Gentle Criminal. I mean, I can't expect that. Yeah, for a villain? No, Gentle Criminal, I think. That's yeah, what Gentle Criminal. Criminal. Yeah. Dude, Labrava is a sweet name, though. Too bad they wasted on a little person. Hey, little people are are people too. All right. I should say, like, just like some, like, just a, I don't know, just like some side character that's basically just uh, a hacker and records his videos. Mm-hmm. Like Labrava, like, just sounds like such more of a just a badass name. I don't really care <laughs> about the name. I don't know. I don't know, dude. Like that's when they say, that's liber- that's like how they say, how they say it, I love it. I don't know why. That's because that's because I'm, I'm biased against just French words. <sighs> I can't. It just I don't even know what it means. It just it sounds so cool, and I just think, damn, what a waste. I mean, that's really all I have. Mm-hmm. Yeah, basically, so Deku meets saying. meets up with Gentle Criminal, and mm-hmm. I don't know what happens from there because previews are trash. I mean, yeah. I mean, I don't really care about this arc. That's how much I. That's why I don't watch. I don't care about the previews anymore. You don't like slice of life, man. No, I, no, I don't like slice. You of don't life. like the laugh. No, it's not like I don't like slice of life. I just don't like it interrupting action. So, like for an action series, I don't like. I only like slice of life if like it actually if it was an intense period for a while and we need the cooldown. But that's not what happened here. I'm fine with it. Well, we did need a cooldown. What are you talking about? Like Dude, the shit. I don't know. Overhaul like, is just, arc, just like it. It dragged on getting to the, the the police raid. Right, but again, they just had a death uh, with uh, Night Eye. Night Eye. So this, if there was ever a time, even though the arc sucked, if there was ever time for a relaxing arc, this would be the time to do it. I guess. I just yeah. I'm just waiting for the next arc. It's also mm-hmm. the perfect time when you're uh, when half your when half your uh, your team is working on the movie. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> but that's I mean that's all I really have. I'm it, it, like the, the season's still okay. It's not by far. It's not their best by far. And but I don't I don't think it's bad. But it's uh, it's somewhere in the middle for me. Mm. I think it's just for me. It's just missed time. I don't think this was the time to like to do the festival or. It's something that's enough to carry me through to get to spring season. God, spring season is going to be awesome. That's I can't wait. Season, it should be yeah. looking at it just like as a, as like get you enough till the next season. My Hero Academia. Yeah, I know. I already got. It was already a shot to the nuts to see the animation in high It's just like God, and then we have to deal with this. But this season's tough. It's been very tough for me to get through. Mm-hmm. Like my uh, my faith in anime is dying. <laughs> I mean, that's what happens when you overwork your animators. Yeah, but only for now. Spring. Oh, my. I can't wait. It's going to be says, awesome. That's the guy who's not even watching ReZero. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's like I already kind of like looked at the stuff and ruined it for myself, and I just don't have any interest. We'll leave it at that. I'm not going to spoil it for people. <laughs> I'm good to go. All right. Yeah. And then, um, so... Next, we'll talk about the My Hero Academia movie, but I guess we'll wait for Brian to get on. Yes, we are, we'll take a, a quick break. A yeah. Get yep. a cookie. Okay. And we're back. Um, we're going to end this with the discussion of the My Hero Academia movie, uh, Heroes Rising. Spoilers. 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 So just in case. I mean, I I don't know. Should we have a disclaimer at every beginning of every episode saying this is basically a spoiler podcast? Like, everything we talk about is spoilers. Yeah, I guess we can. Even though that's the title of the pod, even the title of the podcast should give it away. But I mean, that's like that's the whole point of the uh, the timestamps too. So like, you can skip yeah. around if you don't want to get spoiled. Yeah, but from now on, we we should probably yeah. well let's we'll do it at the beginning just in case if we get yelled at or by somebody wait, wait till, when our when our fans do grow. What fans? But um, well, well we can wait till spring season and it'll be fine. Whatever. Like, but 
Sounds good. Also, this movie isn't canon anyway, so... I mean, I guess if you want to watch the movie, like, the, no spoilers, but... It's not canon, but it was written under supervision from the creator. And I actually kind of see, like, some of his writing, so it makes more sense, but... You know, honestly, if it was canon, it would it would still tie in somehow. Yeah, I feel like it would like, tie they, in just fine. I mean, they basically retcon at the end anyway, so... Like, yeah. whether it's canon or not it, doesn't matter. <laughs> It fits perfectly too for the end of Overhaul arc because just like because they have like that kind of low moment, so they could have been like you know hey this is like a break you know go to this island. <laughs> but I don't think it takes place so after the, Overhaul. I think it's like it has it has to be later because the, it, the it would have to be after the it has to be at the musical it would have to be after the the musical festival yeah or yeah, basically because yeah. the wind can but I don't know what well, you want to start with the movie like do you want do you want just want to give overall thoughts like did, did you guys enjoy the movie. Oh yeah, I, I love the well, movie, actually, especially the last and like last thirty should, minutes. We should probably first say that uh, we stupidly ended up buying the wrong tickets. Uh, we are <laughs> all we are all um, Japanese dub, and we watched it on Wednesday for English dub for the first time. Not going, in, not in knowing US. what we were getting into yeah. in the U.S. Yeah, we were so, and then we had no idea what to expect with English dub. Um, there's been a lot of bad English dub. There's some good. Um, but we, I, uh, I did not. The only person I didn't like the dub for in English was Bakugo, because I think Bakugo's voice in Japanese is just so good that it's it's gonna it's really hard to beat. But everybody else, like they, I thought they matched the characters really well. Yeah. So, I, there's not one moment I it bothered it really bothered me besides maybe the first minute, but it wasn't even like the it wasn't even like the dub. It was just because like the audio sounded so quiet compared to everything else that was going on. Mm. Um. Yeah. I'll just yeah. I'll just say like like um, if animation in general. Like I'd say like usually their dubs are good. So especially for like um mainstream series, like you can usually trust like they bring like their their A list voice actors. So, like I said, right, like I'm pretty sure like um, cause uh, cause other like the other series, I'm pretty sure like when when mine mind watching them English dubs by Funimation, just it kind of remi- it reminds me of like Persona where like. I usually play that in English because because like I don't Same. mind English dub. Same, and it's I mean it's and it makes it way easier. You can play the game. Don't have to read. Don't have to actually read stuff. You can just listen to it and keep playing. Much nicer. Yeah. So like so yeah, we got lucky that English dub was good because because we have to bring up to that we went to the the no game no life movie, and they had like a preview in the beginning before the movie, and that was in English. In dub, English. And those voices were more cringy. Bad. Very so, bad. And like and and we were very worried. And we were worried that like we accidentally got the English up for that time, but no, it wasn't. It was it was a, the sub. We just they just had a preview in English for some reason. There was a collective sigh in the theater when that <laughs> happened too. Yeah, that was a uh, that was pretty good. Yeah, but so at least so for it was it was weird getting used to like the dub parts, but um, it was, Honestly, it was it weird for me like hearing Deku in English. But then, like I after like the first ten minutes, like I got it over. Like it actually fit on really well. Yeah, I think briefly. Um, I think maybe Deku kind of bothered me for a little bit, but the, it got over it quickly because the the voice that they that they pick, I mean, it it fit his he, he character. He fits. He fits that, that that main character like voice, like so it, it worked out fine. But so that, that's yeah, to be, also, to be honest, oh, okay. they all bothered me except for uh, Su Chan. I think she was the only one that she, didn't bother she, me. Her, hers like fit like. A, like her, her, she sounds exactly like Japanese. Japanese, but they didn't say much in the movie, so it didn't really matter. Right, but I don't know. It it just it was still. It still bothered you. Yeah, everything else still bothered me a little. Really? Bit. Huh? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, I guess me and Stride were fine then. Yeah, I mean, I was fine with it, um, and which is surprised because I thought because I was so pissed going into that movie, and then I didn't even have to be mad. It was all fine. Um. Also, I also at like the Reddit thread, two people were saying that um. So, yeah, there were people there saying they also were confused. They were they were confused too because. Apparently, like when we all bought the Wednesday tickets, yeah, none of them said that it was where dub or sub. So that's where the mm-hmm. oh came god, from, so so a lot of people fell trap yeah. into it. Yeah, but, but I, I think I, say... but I think most people were like, like me and you, like where they didn't mind English, the English dub. So, uh, well, I was very pissed before the movie, like I said. Um, but I mean, if I would have known, like I guess, like if I would have listened to any of the trailers with English dub. I mean, I think it would have been like I would probably would have gone gone into the movie and being just fine with yeah. it. Mm-hmm. Okay, so yeah, actually, I actually uh, this is probably an unpopular opinion, but I actually preferred the dub over the sub though, just because 
the scene was so action packed at the end that uh, it allowed me to just focus on the animation rather than constantly read the subtitles. And even though the the voices, the dub voices bothered me, it wasn't, it didn't uh, bother me to the point where I could enjoy the movie. Yeah, but I well, I definitely can see yeah. like after this movie watching dub, I definitely see now why some people still prefer dub. But for us, well, like, I, I think yeah. Oh, I think a big part of it is also like what who said because a lot of the times is like you want to go into the movie to just watch the movie, not have to actually read. Mm-hmm. Um, even though, besides kind of like the last kind of few scenes where it's like definitely like because the the animation is just I mean bones top notch. Um, that you don't really want to. Like, well, for me, I'm just I've never really been a, a fast reader, but it's like it's quick enough where I don't. Well, I like to think I don't miss anything. I think this mm-hmm. kind of holds true here, but it's it it, it it was nice not to actually have to like look down and worry about to read anything and be able to just hear it, right? And then you could really just kind of focus on everything. Maybe that's also why um this you know like like the, the dubs maybe sounded even better because you're able to actually watch the, the movie. And I, I mean, I didn't think it was a bad movie at all. Right. Um, yeah. Okay, um, so. But yeah, it, for like, this was definitely an, like an eye candy type of movie. I know it's a, like, if you're looking for Canon, it's it, 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 go somewhere else. It's, 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 it's hard not to, canon. Uh, for, for long running shonen, it's hard to, to go in it, like looking for Canon, like, how many people are going to like a Naruto or a Bleach or One Piece movie expecting it to be canon? God, you would hope not. But that one, but the but when we we're in the movie when we we're watching English dub, you would assume that that girl that just started bawling probably thought that that was canon. That's, yeah, that's just art theater, man. Dude, art theater had these annoying high school kids that like, kept like talking at the end. Yeah, let's, let's be fair. That's every theater whenever yeah. there's dub. We were, okay. We <laughs> didn't have we didn't have that issue yet. Like we were doing, we had a good streak going. It was this just this theater that like it finally happened where you got interrupted by by the audience. Well, there was a scene, <laughs> there was a scene that happens and it's just absolutely dead quiet, and you hear like this this, this some check. girl in the audience just, yeah. just bawling, just like you just picture it, just ugly crying, and the rest of the theater is just kind of yeah, laughing and, and at just, her. This one girl kept clapping so much, she did the annoying like like fast clap. Like, see, I didn't notice this stuff. Like, like yeah, like, 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 like this, like, like, no. and, like at the end too. It's like, oh my the, god, shut the fuck up. The only thing I noticed was when that girl was bawling, and I didn't, I didn't, I didn't think it was annoying at all. Oh, and that was hilarious. Too, apparently, your brother said that some girl behind you was vaping, and she like, was, yeah, she was like vaping, like, and was, the smoke. Was I saw, I didn't even see this, and apparently, it was right in front of me, yeah, front of and so I wasn't paying at all. So, um, yeah. So that's that's the experience we had. At, like, it was fine. So. Yeah, it was fine until the end where the audience ruined it. Well, dude, I still don't think they ruined it. Like, I thought it was funny. Um, the, but there was another uh, when me and Ku watched the the Japanese dub. There was this, you know, there was a couple scenes where like, um, there was a part where Bakugo kind of flies in, and you hear like dudes clapping and you know, hollering. Which, but that's o- but that's okay though, because it was yeah, it was, that's more appropriate, uh, I guess. Yeah, it's more appropriate to do it at that time. Yeah, it's like when like, like the DBZ movies, like so. Yeah, that, that was my most. That was probably the most fun I've ever had going into an anime movie. Was that uh, was the Resurrection F? That movie, oh, really? like, oh, when, dude, when, um, the when, crowd when Vegeta turns super saiyan, turn blue. blue. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The, the, the entire crowd basically is just hollering. It, it sounded like I was like at some sort of like uh, some sort of sporting event. That's legit <laughs> how it sounded in that in that in, that, uh, in the theater at that time. It was cool. Yeah, but um, so back to the movie. Um, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Do you want to talk about this, the plot first? And then... uh, or just, yeah. Like, just let's just do more 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 general thoughts on the movie because we all enjoyed it. I actually. Did yeah, you like I this, think we can do did, general thoughts. Did you like this um, movie cause... better or the first movie better? Yeah, that's tough because, God, because like okay, I like All Might and Bakugo. There was really not much of Bakugo in the first movie, besides for comedy, you know, comedy relief in a sense. Where you know when when he popped in, it was mainly it was mainly just for comedy. But then All Might, then All Might was just beast. That last ha- like the last what half hour, not even half hour, maybe like last ten minutes of this of the movie, which was awesome. Like the the whole animation, like I, all I wanted to see was Plus Ultra, and I got to see double Plus Ultra, <laughs> so that was worth it for me. Got but it. then uh, this for the second movie though. There's no All Might. Well, there's is All Might, but not All Might. All Might like we know him, not like this All Might. And 
But then there's tons of Bakugo, and Bakugo was awesome. Also, it felt like the you got to see a lot more of the supporting cast in this movie. Like it seemed like they all had some sort of role. Even the characters you would assume would have had like a minor role, if basically been like a nobody in the movie, like Mineta. He actually played a big fucking part in the movie. Yeah. Which was which was weird to see. Everyone but the Invisible Girl was useful. Yeah. What? Like, what? Where? Where was utterly her? useless. Where was her solar flare? Like it was in the movie, in the in the the TV series. She didn't do any of that. I didn't know she had that. That's how much I don't remember from her. Yeah, there, there's a part that she does where um, where she had like some sort of like flash move, but she did nothing. She did none of that. She, yeah. she, like <laughs> Kuzet did nothing. That's, yeah, that's what um yeah I I really like about this movie is like it really used the class A one A like really well like. It was awesome. Because yeah. we barely get to see that in the show, so it's nice seeing it in this in this movie. Yeah, yeah it's been like. No, go ahead. I was just gonna say it's been so long since since we've actually seen somebody else besides you know, Deku. Uh, I mean, I love Lemillion and Stun Eater and stuff, but I mean, I still like the original cast, and I've been missing Bakugo. See, so like, this movie see, like was... the whole like cast like being <laughs> part of the movie. That's, that's why I hope the next Hero Academia arc will be it's just like Class One A like, actually being all together. Cause, yeah, cause, and they didn't. Because like it, it, sucked, it sucked like having overall arc like not having like yeah like Bakugo yeah. and Todoroki. Like, yeah. In the movie, they all play big parts too. Like it's, they actually all had like a big part in like in the the main scheme or the main plan. But sorry, Coop, we've been kind of cutting out. Oh no, you're good. You're good. I just wanted to say like everyone was was actually so involved in this one that I liked it a lot better than like the first movie, where it was just focused on one or two guys. Yeah. And then I I thought that by making the others look so good, like Aoyama looked like a total beast in this movie. Mm-hmm. Uh, the, <laughs> Daryl, the tape guy, he looked. Dude, dude, he was that, awesome. That was like the first time I've seen him being useless this whole time. I don't like take him seriously at all in the show, and he was, he was actually pretty useful in this movie. Yeah, and I feel like everyone's like quirk or like everyone's uh, like what what they bring to the table. Like the the le- the electricity guy, uh, him being used as a prop for the lightning and like the end scene. I thought that was like a perfect use for his character. God, like sad. they they hit everything so well. Like I, there, I didn't really find much to fault for this. Yeah, the, the one thing I had. I'm oh, sorry, I wasn't sure if like uh, if you were gonna kind of keep going. Oh, yeah, that, that message. yeah, but yeah, like, but I messaged just like if somebody wanted to mention. But I definitely thought that they they nerfed Todoroki in the movie. Uh, it yes. seemed like like he should have been so much stronger than what he, I mean. When you're he was with the tier two units or two two, 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 tier, two tier two characters. Um. Well, he was with okay. I like Kirishima a lot, but who is a but Ida? But Ida actually, they made him look pretty, pretty beast too. And then, yeah, he was uh, kind of useful. yeah. Mm-hmm. And then Sue was a beast, and then I, I think she's like she's gotta be like one of the top notch like support units. Mm-hmm. Dude, um, so uh, people were also mentioning right there too the hell um dude the that that beast guy that turned the chimera chimera whatever dude he was so fucking strong. He was. Like, holy shit! Like it. I'm surprised um, the four people that went up against him could actually do anything. Yeah. And I mm-hmm. guess like Todoroki, he kind of had like his his time to shine right there when he did the, the absolute zero, like move. Yeah, I, I still feel like he got nerfed though. Like I feel like he could have easily done that. Like it was but... so tense when they were at the, when they had to fight him. Just cause, I mean, because the main villain, like you expect that because he's the main villain, but the Chimera Beast guy, he was so strong. Like holy shit! Just like yeah. just giving everyone an ass whooping. Yeah. Although I gotta say, I brought it up to Strand too, but the first time they met and they had a retreat, the way that they made the guy exit the scene was <laughs> so ridiculous. Like, dude was hopping away like a frog at the end, <laughs> like, like a total. I mean, that's just like an anime. Like, if you can't fly, you gotta like show off your strength like jumping super high. So no, 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 no. Like... This guy is so strong. He can. There's no reason why he couldn't just do a one like one uh one <laughs> jump like back to where he needed to go. He did not need to like slowly hop like a little bitch like off the. <laughs> You know, like it was, it was so ridiculous. Yeah. They could have also made him look like a boss, just walk away. Right. I think that could have made it look really awesome too. But yeah, and instead of just jumping like a frog, it, that kind of ruined it. Yeah. But oh you know, they, man, that, that guy was still insane. I but then the puppet, the puppet guy was just seemed almost useless because um, he got caught right away and then yeah, got wrecked by Bakugo. Yeah, and then the, yeah. I don't know the chick with the hair, um, slice. Nice. Yeah, slice. I feel like, like if she was up against Deku or Bakugo, I think she could have easily been taken care of. 
I just don't feel like she was. I, I mean, I, I always love um seeing uh Tokoyami like in unleash his shadow form. That was awesome. So him yeah. being in the cave was so badass. Like I love like, yep. him doing that. I yeah. feel like they they cut his uh, airtime a little short though. Like he could have done so much more. I wish he, there was more of him. Yeah. 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 And but but due to due to mer- uh, movie length, to, I I can see why they they cut it and cut it short. But I no, mean, like but I, guess, I, I I mean I guess like yeah, th- this movie is pretty action packed. At least especially like after, I don't even remember when most the first, I don't even remember when the first fight happened because like there was like the beginning part where they had to like set up like the island and why they're there and setting up the kids. Mm-hmm. But it, it I felt the pacing was good. Like yeah. I mean, well, the movie even started off with action. I mean, they started off with like that heist, yeah, that heist-looking thing that um, they get you to see Endeavor. <laughs> Dude, so with the heist, I thought it was like, like, am I watching Initial D? Like, what am I, what am I watching here? Yeah, you know? they're all have or, nice cars. Yeah, no, and then just the, the pan out, like the very opening scene, the pan out. They're in the mountains, on like a mountain road, and then yeah, so, nice. yeah. yeah, five five headlights just like zooming down the roads. And it also made me realize that the heroes, the adult heroes, were completely useless. Me. Like I did, I did not think the League of Villains was that strong, dude. No, the League of Villains aren't that strong. They just keep setting them trash. <laughs> I mean, besides Endeavor, that's about it. Even Endeavor, I mean, like having trouble you, against Davi. Like when you said when you send Deadlock or Deadbolt, whatever the fuck, like, you have a weak team. <laughs> that, that's 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 what's gonna happen. Like you're you're basically just assuming this might this might go 50-50. I mean, this could go well, or this could be just a I fail. Feel like Endeavor should have done more, but I think that's just the plot of the movie. Like they can't, they can't make it and, too easy. To endeavor, dude, well, he basically just yeah, he like, took it. out four well, guys. I know, like, yeah, I know. I, yeah, I just, I think it was just like just it was weird seeing at least the initial fight like going like even against Davi. Well, I mean, it still shows that Endeavor can I would assume can probably beat Davi one v one. I mean, you see, it, but then then again, it's only the movie. So also, who knows what's got, gonna happen I in the future? I got in the beginning part when like when he when the the truck flipped over and then I didn't realize there were clones. Like, oh, okay. Oh, you, did you forget? You forgot about twice. Yeah. Noob. <laughs> and then, because I know, no, and, I then, just... and then, like, because I had the guy, like, he had the guy in like the 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 cap, the, was it, the, the tube, cap- yeah, capsule, and then he escaped, and so I was a little confused about that. But then it made more sense. So, so mm-hmm. what do you guys think of the villain of the movie? He was forgettable, honestly. Like, really, really, dude, I, I thought know, that like, guy was pretty insane. I thought he was okay. Like, like again, his motive, like, it's because he wanted power, like. Like was, oh, was, that's that's like, typical. Mo- insane, yeah, yeah, typical mode. Like yeah. typical villain. Like yeah. I, I just I, meant like I, his like abilities and like his. Which we didn't actually mention what he does. Is, I mean, it's just somebody wants like, to say like something. A, the knockoff of like the all for one. Like I think that's the point. <laughs> it's just I don't know. It's like of the movie. Just seeing it as a knockoff, it just didn't make it interesting for me. Like I mean, it, it was it was fun watching it in, in action, but just as like as a character, like if you're just gonna be a knockoff, it's just it, that's just forgettable for me. Well, I know the movie is overall it's not canon, but it has canon parts to it. I think if it if they kind of stick with the part that of all for one, where you're able to, um, uh, where you're able to just like if, if they actually find a way where somebody else can have more than one quirk like this guy, where he could have up to nine. Yep. Where I think if that if they if that part is like actually canon and they figure that stuff out, like they're I mean, there's going to be a lot more, like, OP people that they have to face. Not just, like, the League of Villains, but, I mean, they could easily throw in whoever they else want, See, because they, it just sounds like... If they do more of that, like, then that that get me back more interested in My Hero Academia than this, this festival arc. Yeah, No, but, but, they, but they, they, they do, though, because uh, apparently All for One has a, like, a small handful of villains that he trusts as his right-hand man. Yep, they've mentioned like, that in the, the beginning of the season. Yeah, like Jar- Jargantuan or wherever yep. the hell he is. Like he's just one of the many guys that follows all for one. So I'm sure they have plenty of OP guys just as strong as this guy was. Yeah. It, yeah. So I'm I'm assuming though, like all for one probably can't be like 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 one for all, where there's got to be somebody that prob- that past that has his quirk that can you know give people quirks or people can have multiple quirks. Like I'm just uh, waiting for that. Like they have that plus they have like the the you know they still haven't mentioned about how they have the. Quirk removing blood, the bullets. As well, yeah, yeah. The bullets. Yeah. So, so I mean, it's like there's a bunch of stuff that like the you know the villains like from like from here on out can actually do, but it's mm-hmm. more like just what what do they do with it? I mean, they show like they have there's a scientist that's uh, looks like Robotnik. Yes. So so the doctor, I looked it up. The doctor that we saw in the in the beginning cutscene, he was actually the same. He he has the same character design as the doctor that 
told Deku from the very beginning that he didn't have a quirk. And there's lots of theories. I don't know if it's from a manga or not that uh, Deku actually did have a quirk, and then the Doctor and All for One was interested in it, so they actually stole it from Deku and gave it to All for One. Mm-hmm. So Which I makes sense. Like, so. Yeah, so I feel like the Doctor <laughs> is going to make a comeback once All for One and like comes back into the story as well. Yeah. We we also don't read the manga, so this is basically all just please, um, speculation. Please no spoilers. Yeah. Please don't we, tell so we us, have no clue. Don't tell us we're wrong because we didn't read the manga. Like, yeah, we right. have enough. Right. For that. Yeah, for if if we do get like future viewers, please please refrain from comments that that spoil it for like, us. I mean, yeah, we're you, trying to, we're trying to play detective here, so yeah. I mean, you, let us let us figure it out. I, don't mind if you, I mean, like, we you, like yeah. I don't mind you shit on us. Just yeah. just <laughs> give it a better reason than like you the manga spoilers. Like, yeah. that's just please. Fair. That's don't let us know. <laughs> like, yeah. um, but being, but you know, doing like anime podcasts and kind of being like, you know, just only anime and stuff. Like, it's that's one of the you know, one of the things that we know that it's a possibility of just don't be, possibly getting just, things ruined for us. Don't be dicks and don't um, spoil for us. Yeah, like so many, but I, I mean, what's wrong? Like, why is it so hard for people not to like spoil? Like, you can do it. I yeah, believe in you. Yeah. It's the internet, but it's like, but if, if, if it happens, it happens. I mean, a lot of the times, if I read something, I'm just going to assume it's just they're just trolling or they don't know themselves. But, uh, and then uh, yeah. it's happened a few times before. And then, like, even like when I've seen like, like spoilers, it feels like, oh God, I had no idea just because like I just wrote them off anyway. But, so, but yeah, I just about to mention to, it's just, it's kind of weird how like just how ahead of the, the movie is compared to like even like the TV series that the, like, because the, yeah. the movie aired in December in in Japan, so then like it would. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, that's right. So it would have aired even before like, the winter season, or yeah, it still would have been airing like when like the overhaul arc was going on. So it's really weird how like they just moved ahead of like with you know Deku's wind cannon. So, yeah, you know. it is. Yeah, I I kind of messed up by not watching the the series uh, beforehand because oh, apparently that's... the episode that came out just before this movie for us. Showcase Deku trying out that that oh, that ability to shoot wind bullets. Air bullets. Yeah. So when I went into the movie and I saw him shooting this, and I'm just like, "What the fuck? When did he learn how to okay. do this?" <laughs> yeah. But then like some guy in the theater he tried to, like try to like give Ku shit for this. But then, yeah. Think about it. It's like the movie aired in Japan on the 25th. So then uh-huh. if you're, so it would have like aired before that episode anyways. Like originally. Yeah. So you can't even blame been... like people for not knowing that because like that's just the movie in general. So. Wait, right. somebody in the movie theater give you shit about it? Like, yeah, the guy in front of us right. was he, like, he's like saying, well, you don't you, know? You had a, the last episode showed a, us he, he, he had a week before this, blah, blah. And yeah. it's like, this movie, yeah, I didn't even hear that. That's because I was next to Ku, so I... Oh, <laughs> yeah. But, like, but, like, but it's not... You can't blame Ku because this originally aired in December, so... That's, that's, yeah, come on. One, one episode? Come on. Really? So that's, that's, okay. that's the movie's fault, so, but... but yeah, uh, it's weird. Um, yeah, like if anything, like I said, this this can easily be canon because they threw so much of like the right actual on. canon story into this. Yeah, that like like they kept mentioning all for one. Like you have to know who all for one is, and if you didn't watch the the series, like there's no way you would know how important he is or what that actually means. Like oh, it's like oh, all for one. Yeah, you still definitely want to watch the sh- like the series before right. this movie. But like they, um, they, but, they but, retcon but, so much at the end, like like how like when talk what but like. They they use excuse like oh Bakugo fell unconscious, that's why the transfer wasn't clean. He forgot everything. So, yeah, like, that's that's part where a movie theater like our, a whole movie theater is like oh my god you know like that part it's, I it's I, been... I, I it was understandable because I was just like that too. It was like oh my god, bro movie loops man. You that's the reason why like they 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 can't so, be canon. So it can't be canon because that and also like um, Tomura just basically shows up and like just uses quirk and like basically decays the 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 main guy. I mean, never existed. Yeah, but uh, what I was gonna say, sorry, but uh, about like movie spoilers and stuff. Before, um, before uh, Deku learned full full cowl, full uh-huh. cowling, yeah. Um, I ended up watching an OVA where he did that. I was like, wait, what the fuck is this? I I had no clue what it was. I just thought maybe because I was watching an OVA, so I I didn't know if I I was like, so I was. Thinking like, oh god, I just spoiled something for myself, and sure mm-hmm. enough, like a couple episodes later, there you, you go, <laughs> you learn full calling. I was like, well, shit, <laughs> man, that's, that's, why do they do but, that? That's so. No, but that OVA was it was still so good. It was worth it. It was hilarious. No, but it's just like why do they gotta do that for like the anime? 
viewing. Yeah. Well, I guess which is also the... weird because like we were complaining how um the first the this the, the fall season had a recap episode. Well, I don't care. Like I don't know. It's, just, <laughs> it's weird how they spoil and yet they have a recaps. It's just. I I mean I'd rather have it. I I mean like I don't mind recaps. I I definitely thought like there's other shows like you know like the especially the ones that haven't aired in years. I thought I think that they should have recaps because people obviously don't remember things like you know such as like the high Q animation in the second third season and somehow they say this is the best animation. Fools! They should have had like a recap episode for this, just showing the difference. But then again, that would have hurt this season. I think. Mm-hmm. Um, but anyway, I'm yeah. getting way off topic now about stuff. But I, I mean, I really don't care about it too much because it's like, like they're spoiling stuff. But it's like, but for, at least for us, like it's there. It's like only like maybe like one or two weeks in advance. It seems like right. And so it's, it's not bad for us. But if if it was like you know, for the people in Japan, I don't know if you know if there's people that only watch the anime, or if they just mainly watch the manga, but they watch the anime as well. Or sorry, not watch, read the manga. But I, I have no idea. Uh, I just feel like for movies, you know, it's you got go with the anime audience. So, I mean, I'm still, I'm like, it's still cool to see it though because it's just like, like they're gonna show it in a sense, like eventually. So I think it's kind of cool just seeing it's also something new in the in the anime. And it feels like or, or in the movie, but it also feels like if people are just like, oh, I don't want to watch this just because it's not canon. But if it, but if it has like canon parts to it that we don't know, I mean, do you think that would draw more people into the movie? Uh, poss- uh, possibility. I don't know. Because I've always gone on the assumption that none Wait, of the uh, none of the anime movies are canon. But then I think yep. Dragon Ball Super was the only one that made him start to be canon. Uh, like, but Resurrection X, uh, F, Battle of the Gods. The I think both movies. Yeah, both movies were canon. They're all canon. All Dragon yeah, Ball Super yeah. movies are canon. Yep. Yeah. But there's only two. No, those those three, those Battle of the Gods, Resurrection Act, oh, F, Broly. and then Broly. Oh, yeah. yeah, with the Broly's canon. Yeah, Broly's canon. This? Is it confirmed? Yeah, it's confirmed. Broly, the Broly hmm. movie is canon. Damn. So. Oh wait, uh, I think I knew that going into the movie. It just been yeah. a while. Yeah, it's been okay. a while. Yeah, I do remember yeah. us talking about that. Yeah. So I thought that maybe <laughs> the the new trend now is that all anime movies from like popular well, series is going to be canon. That's what I was. You have to separate thinking. from like long running like shonen compared to like, right. other. True. Other series. Yeah, but I don't really follow up on news. So I just assume if one if one thing is starting to happen, it's going to be a trend for all the others uh, anime horrible. series. But that's horrible, like pattern prediction. <laughs> well, like I said, I I, I don't really look up into it, and uh, you know, I, I can't read, so it's hard to read no, on news. So, uh, <laughs> okay. yeah. I mean, I'm like honestly, I'm fine with it if they're canon or if they're not canon for at least the shows that I like. I'm not going to be watching any more, any more Boruto shit. I'll just watch the I'll just watch like the fights on YouTube or whatever whenever they come out. Uh-huh. But I, I'm not putting myself through any more Boruto stuff, unless it's if it's like movies that are like kind of like uh, let's see like Violet Evergarden, you know, like where they might not do that well, but you still want to kind of support the movie. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, those movies I don't mind going to, to at all, yeah. even if even if it was all um, that's, filler. That's different because that's like that's like a that's mainly like a U.S. like Western thing because like we get few anime movies yeah Whereas, like in japan they do it because they know it'll sell so. yeah well here i mean i i don't mind at all going to the movies just to yeah, support but that, them. that's different right that's like, yeah oh i know yeah i know you can't make um, it too yeah i know like for me like uh i know that we're, we're eventually gonna get the Where made I'm... in abyss movie i haven't watched the show but i'm still gonna go up, up like i'll still go with you guys to the movie just to where, you know, like, support it in japan um it's like you like they still make the movies for a japanese audience even though they're they're more aware of the international audience, but I'm pretty sure like they still they still make it for like they they assume like they just gotta do it for Japan and then anything outside of Japan just be extra. So mm. okay, man, we're catching up. We're catching up. Slowly <laughs> catching up. So. Yeah, what do you mean slowly, man. Sito. Hey, that's actually not bad. We we barely have any days here to watch those movie theaters, but we're actually doing pretty well in like those three days that we are allowed the movie. One of them was which watched, they wasted. We watched a decent amount already in like the first. Yeah. Oh yeah. Two months that we had. Like, oh, it's, weather, no, we had I, weathering of you. We had Hero Academia. Konosuba. Konosuba was, was, was December. Oh, I think it was like last. November, but yeah. Oh man, but that, that like by like all the movies we've seen, like Konosuba was the best. Like that that first note that they started on. God, it was. Oh. <laughs> so God, like ten out of yep. ten. Yep. That was that was also canon. 
Oh, right. Canon. Yeah, that was canon yep. too, right? Yep. So, Violet Evergarden was canon. Um, Damachi here, was killer. Oh. So. Yeah, Damachi was... Tra- but dude, that was like watching a long, <laughs> like a l- extended episode of JC Staff Animation. Don't get me started on Damachi. I was so disappointed yeah, in Damachi. Yeah, when, you, when the mobile game <laughs> explains <laughs> stuff better than the movie, you have a problem. Anyway, we're getting way off topic. Yeah, I think I'm done are, with the, the hero I movie. I want your friend's thoughts on the animation. Just because, like, I know um the fight scenes are cool, but, like, I don't know. Like, when people said the animation was good, for me, like, I, I, don't, I don't know how to judge animation. It just seemed, like, the same as the, the TV series. It didn't seem anything, like, well, like the, the normal, like, parts. Not the fights. The fight scenes were definitely cool. Yeah. But just, mm-hmm. like, I don't know. Like, I just kind of expected more from just, like, the normal... The normal scenes, but but then I don't know how to judge animation, so I want to hear Sven's thoughts. I don't know. It's well for me. I mean, if, if people, if we have people who've been listening to this, they, they obviously know I, I'm not a big fan of JC Staff. Oh, uh, they talking about, uh, talking about Hero Academia. I, I know, I know, but but I, but that's why like I was like leaning to the point where I don't know if it's just because like it, like it, the, the normal animation look like just a normal, almost a normal episode. If maybe if maybe not like a little bit better a little bit more clean maybe but then i don't know if it doesn't bother me as much because it's bones and i know it's going to be good when it matters but uh but so it didn't it didn't bother me at all there was a couple scenes a couple of shots where the animation either, yeah. looked different like it looked different i mean it, it, it wasn't like a bad thing or I anything it just I, brought, I bring it up because um because i i don't know what the source is but i heard that, like um that um you know like the, the best animators they had to take them off the the season to make the movie so that's why like that's why um you know the Lemillion versus like like Shisaki just, fight like the scenes. reason why like the like animation like quality was lower was because slideshows was because <laughs> like they they basically took all the best people and they're working on the movie so basically like a lot of the animation pitfalls of the of the season was because of this movie so I, I was. So that's why I had more high expectations. I was like, "Hey, this better be worth like dropping the quality of the TV yeah. show if, for this movie." Yeah. Then. And then, like, so yeah. then, like when I'm not blown away, it just it just makes you think. Like, I guess I mean, besides, I guess the, the, the fight scenes were cool too. But like, was it worth like dragging on the quality of the TV show? See, I wish that the um like why did they have to do it during Lemillion's arc? That's the one thing I'm like, why? Why did you have to cut that man's like? Because I, 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 I don't know that that was the one arc that I would have wanted probably more than anything to be animated. Which is at least the fight. And that was like the most. We just important got a slideshow. Like... Yeah, we just basically got a slideshow, like... mm-hmm. which is very depressing. But the the fight in this though, like the fights that they had in this, especially like the last like for five ten minutes, where it's just it's just chaos almost. Like I I just feel like where like the animators were just like f it, we're just gonna go nuts. It was okay. like... it was kind of really weird, like the. At the end, when um when Bakugo and Deku did that combined like whirlwind thing, I don't know that part. It kind of looked weird yeah. to me, like like the, the the style, not 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 the anime, it's just like just the whole style, like yeah, I don't know. Like, I, I wish it was like, instead of just punching into the air to destroy the tornado, I really wish it was something more. Like that was the but of that fight though, that was that was the worst part. After that, like everything was just nuts. Like, I thought it looked um, so cool. I mean, yeah, like like the whole like like dodging through the air is really cool, and then um also like the what else I'm trying like the lightning strikes are really cool too like those are really nicely animated yeah like yep also like when uh when um bakugo just melts everything around him even and though, throws a rock you know like the <laughs> the rocks all the rock attacks kind of look cg but it didn't bother me as much so no yeah, it's okay um damn what, what else was i gonna say uh sorry uh, you guys can can, can but, continue i'm just trying to think of oh you could what do you think of the animation Oh, to God. Be, well, to be honest with you, I actually thought everything was real, really nicely done, except for the last five or ten minutes when they were playing that slow music. And <laughs> okay, that was my next point. What did you think of the music? It felt awkwardly like sh- like shoved in. Like um, really, uh, God, I actually liked it because it Same. allowed you to focus on the main point that this is Deku's last last stance. <laughs> okay, because yeah. he was about to give. He just gave away one for all to Bakugo, well, okay, right? And this be, was his to last moment. Too, like it was kind of ruined by the, the high school kids. But th- okay, no, that's not, there's that. That's not, I thought it was so movie. much better. Like because <laughs> you just hear people bawling in the theater. I'm thinking like I don't want to hear that damn fast clapping. 
Hey, David. Oh. Watch it. Watch the movie at home. Yeah, Don't go so, outside. But, um, <laughs> I wish there was like sound effects then of like of of the at least like the fights where when it's just like, the when it's just the song playing and no sound effects. That kind of sounded weird to me. Like. I don't know. I I like. I still like that song. Like it, it sounded like it was a different version of uh. Like, like, what did you say? And, run and, and like voices. Like I don't know. Just mm. just haven't replaced the whole sound. Like, like replaced everything. Like the soundtrack and like the the voices. Like it, that's the part that was more weird. I wish it was like it, it was just the background song and not just like the whole the only thing we hear. No, I I felt like it was a probably the only time they could have ever played that song because it wanted you to amplify that that moment mm. so i felt like if anything else were to play like background noises or like just the voices of the characters or just any sound effects i think it might have ruined that moment so i, I think it was fine yeah. like yeah i liked it I, I don't know if you guys remember the the complaint i had about it when they were using this same song when uh deck was saying similar Harry. song similar song it wasn't I think the, it was a, it was similar i, I think yep. it was the same song Different, but th- different. They just play a different portion. Wait, what are you talking about? Oh, maybe then. Yeah, I, I really wish that. Yeah, because like when uh when Deku saved Aerie, they play that slow song, and it right. just seemed like a terrible. Wait, is it ter- the same song? Plan. I think it was the same song. I thought it was a different song okay. because I I, don't, I, I, don't, I would not I I, 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 I would not mix up you say run with anything else. Okay. Right. Um, I don't remember but, the uh, so that's, but I can't. But, but yeah, like. I felt like that was just that was probably the best time, and I thought it was fitting to put that song there just because of what it signified. Yeah, basically what it, what you th- like, basically what you think at the moment. Right. I I, I also think though, um, like this type of music would have been perfect in Lemillion's like Lemillion scenes. Like I would have been bawling my eyes out, and I would have been <laughs> even tearing out even I would have been Bakugo, tearing up even man. more than I was. True. I don't care, man. It's a, I already knew it was a movie. So uh-huh. Something was gonna I happen. It was gonna be a movie. It was going to be a movie miracle, but Lemillion, I had no fucking clue what was happening. That man, I was basically, I was, I was so worried. <laughs> it didn't help that like the week before, the week of, we were comp- like, like guessing who was going to die. Yes, yeah, somebody was going that, to die. Someone said, "Oh yeah, Lemillion is going to die for sure." <laughs> yeah, and it's been basically all of a sudden just like what was going, what was happening in the slideshow. Right. You're thinking, "Oh god, this like, guy's going to die." <laughs> yeah, hold your breath. But, oh god, please don't let it happen. But if they would have played that music. During those scenes, I would have thought like this guy's gone. I, yeah, I probably would have paused. I probably would have paused, walked away, and never came back to hero. Jeez, yep. <laughs> I'm lying. I would have came back immediately. But, but yeah, I mean, I, I thought it was fine. But uh, but because of that, you were so focused on the animation. I I uh, there were some moments where I felt like it was too, uh, like it was too choppy. Like the animation of them, like uh, like punching, like they they were hitting uh, nine so hard that he. They created like this giant like crater or, or like rocks just like collapsing, and then it felt like it was a little choppy. Um, and then with the whole Bakugo like melting a certain part of the ground to shoot it at nine, I felt like some aspects of that was a little choppy too. See, um, I, I thought it looked cool, uh, but I, I do I do think though the movie was really dark. Yeah, uh, I'd have to that, I'd have to see these scenes again. That's what oh, maybe not dark for me. I thought just I I just thought like some of the colors were dull. Uh, mm-hmm. Like that—that that was like my main general complaint. Like I thought, that's like the one thing I wish it would like been like more, like brighter and saturated. I think that mm-hmm. was like that right. was, I think that that's what I was like, like my only thing was that like that I wanted for the animation. Yeah, I'll have to see these scenes again when it comes out on DVD. But uh. I wonder, that's weird. That because I know like the show itself, like sometimes it has to make itself dark because like because because uh, seizures Japan and like, yeah the, yeah. The laws, whatever, but it, this is a movie, so I don't think the same laws apply. Shouldn't matter, no. So yeah, I don't, I don't know. That's one thing I don't like. Well, the, the the yeah, the consistent complaining about your academia. It's just the, yeah. the brightness being turned down is so annoying. But mm. but that's what I will agree with Kudo that it did seem like some of the scenes, uh, like they did just drop in frames. Mm. I don't know, not really sure why, but, but at the same time, Actually, like a couple but, of those scenes that you were talking about, they were really hard to see. Yeah, so I, I really want to see them more clear. And like, again, was this worth like dropping the quality of the the TV t- season? <sighs> see, I mean, I feel like the arc was so bad; it, it was it was justifiable. At least make one yeah, thing I mean, good, not both things suck. Yeah, so. you could have made Lemillion's arc good, man. You could have no, added no, to it. No, the way they ended the arc, there was no saving it. If anything, they could have waited till after the arc, and then then while, then and then while we're doing like this festival stuff, that's when you work on the movie. That would have been the perfect time. <laughs> Yeah, 
I don't know. It's like honestly, I would have liked okay, last so season so much more if the millions like the, million scenes were top notch. The movie in Japan so far it made like fourteen million, and then it just got you know like five million from the opening weekend here. So it's not bad. Yeah. I'll probably make like thirty million, thirty forty million total. I wonder if that's is that worth justifying lowering the quality of the TV season? I don't know. We'll see. It's whatever. I mean, it's like I, it, it is what it is. Uh, like but, who said? I, I think last season was just such a train wreck oh, in a sense. And then mm-hmm. you weren't gonna save it. I yeah. heard okay, again. I don't. I don't have a source for this. I just heard that um that this was like this uh the creator. This this should be the last hero movie, because I think he only. It might be. It might be like this. Might be the last one he's involved with. But I'm sure they'll make more. Like I'm not surprised that they do make more. I just heard somebody like, that this. Like the, the creator wanted like this to be the last movie, but I I wouldn't be surprised if they made more. Maybe they just try to bait people in because like when uh when it looked like Deku lost his quirk, maybe they were trying to bait people in, thinking, like, oh god, this is the reason why it's the last movie. <laughs> yeah, right. You know, hey, who knows? I don't know. No, that's the manga is still ongoing, so it's like it's hard to. It's yeah, hard to really that's true. Just, like, to come in that mentality. That is true. So like, but uh. As a last thing, would you what would you guys rate it? Or uh, I know David, what'd you rate it on uh, anime list and Kuba? Would you rate it if you had an anime list? list yet, but probably give it nine. You fool! What would you say? <laughs> probably give it nine. Okay, cool. Yeah, I would give it nine out of ten. Okay, yeah, nine. Uh, nine was the rating I gave it as well. Yeah, because I think it did everything it was supposed to. Um, the only reason why I wouldn't give it a ten out of ten, out of 10 is um, there were some things that. Did kind of bother me again with it's the just, whole animation towards the end. It's just like the little mm-hmm. the little things here and there just kept adding up. So yeah, yeah, yeah. But for, yeah. Uh, for for a movie, it basically did what it needed to. So yep, that's mm-hmm. how I graded stuff. I basically go into a movie if it's not canon. Did it do what it needed to do? I enjoyed it. Basically, it was a bunch of a uh, you know like, sweet animation eye candy. Everybody was there. It was hilarious. Yeah. This is this is with English dub as well. Yeah. Like it actually made me oh. it made me want to like watch the last movie and this movie like later like mm. I don't know, just gives you that feeling like wow I want to watch more Academia here Academia movies. <laughs> well, I would assume our next movie we'll be watching is Demon Slayer whenever that I whenever that comes come, out. I think Made in Abyss comes here first before that. Oh, okay. Well, they, never mind. They haven't, I can... they haven't announced. Well, actually, because um because. Because I think she's probably I, in the podcast here <laughs> before we talk about more. Yeah, so yeah. I just gotta mention too, like, because I think you foldable. Um, because I'm pretty sure end of March is when Heaven's Field, the last movie, comes out in Japan. Oh, yeah, I forgot about and that. And then I think, I think after that, so I assume maybe summer is when Demon Slayer movie comes out. And then, they don't have a date yet, they just they, said they summer. Right? So I'm just guessing like, maybe summer is when yeah. Demon Slayer movie comes out, and then oh, they don't even have a season yet for yeah. I know. I'm just guessing. Okay. I'm no, just because no, no, no. like Heaven's Field comes out in Japan mm. end of March, and so I'm guessing okay. Heaven's there be summer, and then NA be like fall or winter, or fall and winter. God, I don't want to wait. If that's that's gonna take forever, can, that's okay. We have snack food till then. You can read the manga <laughs> just like Sasha. I ain't gonna do that shit until I watch that Sasha movie. And Peter. Hell, no, dude. They're a bunch of ruiners, man. We have you. We have you. Foldable behind this. You're gonna read. You're gonna read this instead. Yeah. yeah, yeah Get yeah. out of here. Jesus. All right. Tell us how you really. Feel. That's my thoughts. Yeah, that's my thoughts. All right. So yeah. That's... I mean, I understand if it was a shit animation, but come on, you foldable. <laughs> right. I'm done. I'm sorry. Any any other last words you want to say for this movie? Yeah, probably not. No. <laughs> All right. So we're gonna end it right there. That was a really long discussion just for this movie. Even worth just, it. Even just the three it's of worth us. It. It worth it. Good. If you haven't seen this movie, you're a fan of Hero. Go see it. Yeah. It's probably still airing for another week or so. So. Yeah. 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 Otherwise, just wait for support the, the support the industry. <laughs> like you do, Sven. I did. I went to the movie yeah, band. Okay, I saw it twice, bitch. I saw whoa, English. Whoa, 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 he supports. <laughs> the, he supports the movies, just not the TV shows. <sighs> Jeez. Hey. Technically, I have Hulu. I have Crunchyroll. I have Netflix. I have them all. Okay. I even have. I even have Funimation, David. Hmm? Do okay. you have Funimation? Hmm? <laughs> okay. Get out of here. <laughs> All right. I'm so done. That's, that's going to be it for this week's episode. I want to thank the listeners for bearing with us this week, especially this last two minutes. I want to thank oh the panel for being with me this week. Anytime. My pleasure. 
hopefully we'll stay more consistent but honestly it's winter season we're just trying to get through this oh god we'll be more season. excited once spring starts and oh we have like more exciting shows spring is yes. gonna be awesome our our i have a feeling spring is gonna be very long me, uh me for the Cooper podcast gotta go hard on ReZero because it's trying won't so we'll have to make it up for him <laughs> you, you have brian too Oh, true. I guess I know Taylor. I know Taylor is planning on watching it, but uh, so yeah. I, I think it's just everybody's just kind of like just just kind of down on how the season's going. Should've just watch the director's cut. <laughs> oh man, it's okay. I already saw it. It's good enough. Right. I already saw enough blood and gore and depression. All right. So that's gonna be it for us this week. We'll see. We'll see you guys later. Bye. See you, everyone. Bye.